super chat what is up some guy uh on the stream vod the other day said do you why do you why do you say yo like that at the start of your stream is that for the youtube algorithm <laughs> it's like no i'm pretty sure it's terrible it scares people away right from the start but i just can't contain the hype just too excited to talk to you guys. Uh, Yana, Vesely, Captain, and Extra, hello. Kirsten Lopez, what is up? How is everybody doing? Level 100. My goodness. Good to see everybody. It's been a... Well, I streamed a couple days ago, but I have not streamed much last week. But it's been insanely busy in Hearthstone life and outside of it, too. But card reveal done today. If you missed it. I revealed three cards today. Go check it out on YouTube. Here it is. Although you don't need to because I'm, <laughs> gonna, I'm literally going to pop them on screen right now. But it had a funny little intro you might like. Funny little intro. Hey, Wraith thinks the tier one. That's awfully nice. Uh, Oakheart, hello. Uh, Silas, hello. Grumpier, hello. What is up? Have my revealed cards been put on the website yet? No. Okay, it's fine. We can fix that. All right. Card number one. Gangplank driver, Di driver, God dang it. diver. That's like I've never, I've never seen these before. Gangplank die. I should just put all three of them up for my video. Actually, that's gonna be easier. Hold up, I think that's better. Since they're kind of a set anyway, right? It'll be easier. Gangplank. Here you go. Did notice that kind of blocks the thing, but it's a six four. I think we can all tell. Uh. Yeah, so I revealed these three cards earlier today. Go check out the video if you missed it. Uh, they're pretty cool, actually. I, I think they're kind of good, weirdly. I think the dormant for one turn aspect of these is sneaky good. For a couple reasons. Number one, like follow-ups on them are pretty much guaranteed because they're dormant. Your opponent can't interact at all, so... If you need to play a buff, if you need to do something like Bioluminescence, like I talked about in my reveal, uh, it's pretty crazy. The Pelican just takes great trades, guaranteed, like shut down any early game minion. Slime Scale Diver, the poisonous one here in the middle, it's like crazy to play into that. Like, it's very frustrating. How do you play into that? I, like in Arena, that thing seems nightmarishly good. <laughs> like just insanely good in arena and maybe good enough in standard as well honestly just because it's so high friction like you can't play minions into it they're just gonna die your opponent's gonna get a pretty efficient trade and then gangplank i think is my least favorite of the three from a competitive standpoint five man is just a lot to commit it's not necessarily bad uh to take a swing but a lot of decks won't really be able to do that as well i, I think the other two have an efficiency upside for like their ability to remove per their cost and they're less committed to so yeah mm -hmm. uh game Blake does leave a body behind but it's still just a lot of mana i don't know if that's worth it or not I don't think the smite thing on six is worth it either. He's my least favorite. I think he's like a two star. I think the other two might be like four star cards. I don't know. Slime scale. A lot of decks won't need slime scale. So I maybe slime scale is a three star card, even though I think he's just so frustrating to play against, like so hard to deal with. Pelican Diver, though, I think that's going to have some sneaky utility. That one mana guaranteed buff body, beast synergy, um, just like minion setup for bioluminescence. Something is going to stick with Pelican Diver. So it feels like it's pretty good to me. Um, how huge was the disappointment not revealing Finley and only getting three common cards? 
zero disappointment. I didn't really think about it at all. You could watch it happen live on stream if you don't believe me. I was streaming when I saw Finley get revealed. It's not that big a deal to me anymore. Um, I mean, I, I always appreciate card reveals. I'm excited to do them and stuff. But, it, you know, it's not uh, like a career changing sort of opportunity. I try to get Blizzard to give cards to other people. I ask every time. Give my cards to other people. But they, you know, they have to have a balance of like visibility and supporting smaller streamers and stuff. Like they need bigger YouTubers to reveal cards to get the numbers up. So they want me revealing cards, but if it's up to me, I just pass them all on. I do so well with card reviews that it's a wash for me almost from a view standpoint. <coughs> so it's more about the fun and the <coughs> celebration side of it that's upside to me. So the difference, in other words, the difference between Comet and <coughs> Legendary is not particularly significant, but just excited to be a part of it in any, in any case. I mean, I'm, I'm sad nobody got to reveal Finley. It would have been cool if a smaller person got to reveal Finley. <clears throat> that would have been some, some upside. Um, Do we think they're going to make all the League of Explorers new cards in this set or just Finley? I'm thinking just Finley right now because we don't have any like legendary slots left. All the legendaries are like Colossals or Naga or kind of Naga spinoffs. And all the neutrals are already revealed. Or almost all, I think. Um, I don't think that maybe mini set, maybe the mini set could bring along the other explorers. Maybe it'll be like one explorer each expansion. That'd be cool. Like each expansion gets a different explorer. <laughs> He's just as good at hiding his pain. <laughs> Look deep into my soul. You'll see it. You'll see the pain. Hey, Aries. Thanks. Why does my lady sound different? I don't know. But thanks, Aries, for the 20 months. Um, Dormant for one turn feels like a better stealth. Yeah, in some ways. You can't go face with it like you could with stealth, but it's it's completely guaranteed to be alive. Right? Your opponent cannot kill it. So that has its own advantages, you know. She, I like she's talking back. She's getting sassy. Thanks to the 177 bits. No, Sam. Didn't they say they were moving away from year-long themes? Well, yeah, but you could have one explorer like exploring different areas of Warcraft, right? So, like, this could be Sunken City, and Finley is checking it out, and then you could have... I don't know. What, what's another area? St Storm Peaks or something. Was it... Stormheim, Storm Peaks, and like Reno's chilling in that one, and then you've got uh, Ashenvale, and that's uh, that's Elise. You know what I mean? Like they'd still be separate themes, but just a, a guest appearance, basically, from each of the explorers. That could be a possibility. <laughs> sounded weird for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> digital mouth sounded weird. It made me uncomfortable. I don't like digital mouths. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> uh, yeah, we could get corset versions too. Yeah, that'd be another opportunity. Yeah, it might just be Finley though. You know, maybe it's not a symbolic thing, and it's just literally Finley because we're underwater. You know. I, we may be reading too much into it. <laughs> oh, I think I just turned off my headset. We'll see. They want it on, not off. Yeah, I would love Reno. We haven't seen any um, Highlander. Oh, my God. Maybe that's why they're saving. Oh, my God. Maybe that's why they're saving the core set. Maybe they're going to reveal the Highlander stuff. In this expansion, simultaneously with the core set. Maybe they're going to re reveal, like, Highlander cards last. There's, like, one neutral card left. Maybe, like, a Nazoth Highlander card. That'd be sick. Oh, man, that'd be fun. That's That's my theory now. That's my theory.
when is the corset reveal? I think they said April 5th? Maybe? Does that sound right? April 5th? I think they said it in a blog post or something. Maybe. Yeah, chat agrees. April 5th. Oh, yeah, the Mechanome. Yeah, you're right. We haven't seen Eni's card yet, or Eni, or whatever her name is. <clears throat> Eni the Mechanome. Good afternoon, Nilaku. Yeah, I wonder what the Mechanome would be. Yeah, that's sick. I love the theme of this expansion. I thought I was going to hate it. <laughs> I'm just over the moon. I think it's really cool. So many cards have just looked awesome. It definitely feels more like, I don't, I mean, literally like mystical or like more exotic, more, uh, I don't know, just, just more visually compelling to me. I, I still feel like the last three expansions were a little flat on that front, you know, same characters, same Kind of basic settings, flat color palettes for the most part, you know. And I feel like this one's just really bringing everything to life. I don't think I thought those were bad at the time. It's just in contrast. It's like, man, these are really, really spicing things up. Do you think we'll see a Naga hero in duels? What I think doesn't matter because I know what you're going to see in duels. I can't tell you. <laughs> I'm revealing stuff for duels uh, Saturday. I think it's Saturday. God, I hope it's not tomorrow because I am not ready. Hopefully it's Saturday. Yeah, I have a big duels reveal on Saturday. So in said reveal, you will see what is next for duels. I will not tell you what that means, but... You will see things for duels. I won't I won't be showing you everything, but I'll be telling you. <sighs> what's what's coming? Alright, uh What are we gonna play, guys? Uh man, I just it's like everything is so like man, I, I you know, every time this happens, we see all these new cards. I just wanna play the new cards, and it's like man. Jackson, I actually do agree with you. Yeah, I also am a little disappointed that most of the Colossals have only been plus one. I, I thought we were going to get more wide board Colossals. I mean, have we seen every Colossal yet, by the way? Just occurred to me. Uh, two, three, four, five. We haven't seen Hunters. Six, seven, eight. We're missing Hunter and who? Hunter and who else is Colossal are we missing? Shaman. Hunter and Shaman. Yeah, so far we've had plus four, which was the first one we saw. Plus one, plus one, plus two, plus one, plus one, plus two, and plus one. So yeah, half of them are plus one. Yeah. I thought we, I too thought we'd get more. I think by starting us at four, they said they anchored the expectation a little high, and then we've kind of been recovering ever since. Uh, okay, I don't want him in the play. I don't want to make this freaking guy work forever. Favored racer. We got some new buff guards too in uh, the mini set, so we can use like Ring of Courage stuff here. Favored racer. Yeah, it's definitely going to be harder to make threes and fours. I'm, you know, not suggesting it would be easy, just that I would like to see a couple more big ones if we can. I, I hope the final two aren't plus one, you know. I'm hoping for like a plus three or something in there. One more big one would be sweet. So, okay, we got favored racer. We want, uh,. Buff cards, Divine Shield cards. 
We want a mix of all that good stuff and paladin, huh? We could go devout pupil. Oh, no, we're not gonna have that many. Where's that three drop at? Uh... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got holy spells too as a synergy here. I feel like the shaman naga is gonna be busted. Yeah, it does do a lot. I, I, I always talk about how cards that do a lot can sometimes feel a little underwhelming along each of those vectors. How, you know, basically it doesn't do any of the things super well. Sometimes it feels like it does everything kind of mediocre, but I think that card actually does stuff pretty well on average. <laughs> like, I don't think it gives up too much. Normally, I think it gives up too much. I don't think that one does. I think that one's pretty good. Each of the three things, the plus two spell damage and the... Um, uh, discount and even the armor are all uniquely pretty good, so you don't have to do anything crazy. What's the worst Colossal so far? I don't know. Good question. I'm probably going to do a video ranking them. I'll have to think about it a lot more. Uh, priest is the first thing that came to mind when you asked that question. Mage, mage looks like it might be a little slow at eight mana. That makes me kind of nervous. I do like that it has some damage potential, but that makes me nervous. Something about druids is a little underwhelming at this point. It's just kind of a stat dump. I don't know if it's going to be that. I don't know. It does give you eight armor, though. It has death rattle synergy, so no, maybe not. Yeah, I'd say either Priest or Mage right now. Probably Mage It's making me nervous. I liked Mage more when I saw it than now. Ooh, a Titan's mini set would be so sick, Sergio. Don't get my hopes up like that, dude. <laughs> dude, do not get my hopes up with a Titan's mini set that has more Colossal Titans. God, dude, I would die. I would be over the moon. What else do I want to put in this deck, guys? I don't think the Palion will be good. There's something about it that is definitely a little boring. It doesn't look particularly big or exciting, but I, I think it'll be very in light, and that might just be good. Undead a sea. <laughs> Potion of heroism. Yeah, it's not bad. I don't like that. I'm feel like I'm using the divine shield for it though. You know what we could do is like uh, I think bannerman. We have a little too many spells. Maybe although not really, but it's close. It gets I think diminishing returns. Uh, I was thinking about like that card that gives armor scraps. Really any good though? Like, why do I need that? No, I don't need that. Screw that. No. Oh, carry all heroes is a good idea. Yeah, I like that idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Yeah, I like that. Any other just good card? By the way, that's in that like good card line. I like just get me the good cards. Uh, definitely feels like one of those. Tarum is kind of a good card. Tyrion's not bad with our hero power. Uh, yeah, Lanessa would be fun, but I agree, not very good. Zola, Vandar, Kazakis. <laughs> Curve wise, a two drop might be nice. Any other good, like, Murger's not in. Wouldn't mind another two drop I can actually use for a body. I don't think he rails in, right? Isn't she Outland? Oh no, she's not Outland. She's Dark Moon. Uh. 
I mean, I only have one neutral card, but this can be really hard to maintain. I don't think I can do that. I kind of like the idea of making it a pure deck, but... I mean, all I'd have to cut currently is... Squire. It's really not asking much. But it's just so hard to keep up with. I don't think her heal is, is a big enough payoff there. Uh, okay, let's um, let's look for some card draw. Maybe it is Potion of Heroism, just because card draw is good. I think I like that a little more than Bannerman at this stage. Worry with too many spells for Bannerman to be amazing. <laughs> okay. I like this one. I've been waiting for that one good favored racer pop-off still after all this time. Maybe this will be the favored racer pop-off. The pop-off game. Pop-off sounds like a person's name. Oh. Oh, guys, I had a good breakfast again today. I know I talked about this last week. Good, good breakfast. How did it get today? Man, it was so good. What are the blessings? Literally any blessing. So like blessing of authority, blessing of kings, any any spell like that that is named blessing will actually count. Hmm, I kind of like this as a finisher, like giving me damage later. But it might mess up my curve. Let's get a good curve. I need to make sure I curve out well here to beat this because I've done this so many times against Death on Hunter where if you don't win early, they just own, right? This is the curve, okay. <laughs> this is what we needed. Yeah, this was it. Thank you. Side in might be good too. Greg Popovich. Oh, great coach. Great coach. Winningest all time NBA coach now, right? Oh, wow, beating me in my own game. Excuse me? Is this worth it? If it hits side in, it's actually insane. Uh I mean I could use it later too, right? Uh there's like five fives and stuff. Let's stay on curve and use it later. Taking the clear here, I guess. Okay. Sure. Let's, uh, this is going to draw Hold the Bridge or Ring of Courage. Hold the Bridge is probably better for us. A little, little wacky at the moment, actually. God, it's like I want to do this again now. It's like all these minions are pretty good for it. I just want to be able to get value off the divine shield if I go hold the bridge. The heal is important, but Sky is not like full in on death rattles, is he? He's got like buffs and spells and stuff. It's a... it's throwing me off my game a little bit here. It's throwing me off my game. I don't like it. I'm perplexed. True strength comes from within. It's like, do I need the healing here? Yeah, I, I hate that this is inefficient, but I think it's right. Healing actually doesn't hurt, and of course the clean trade doesn't hurt either. Alright, so now we got a good 4-drop, hopefully. Wish this guy had Divide Shield. This list is crazy. Crazy list. Started watching Winning Time. Mostly enjoying it, but everyone's some level of scumbag. Yeah, welcome to life. <laughs> That's only slightly cynical view, eh? Uh, yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. I, I, I know some people don't like shows like that where there's no redeemable characters. I do understand that. It doesn't seem to bother me as much. I, 
But I also like the alternative, like, you know, love Ted Lasso or something, Princess. Um, okay. This seems like a better target, and it's guaranteed to hit side end here, which is insane. So I think we go ahead and play the side end as well for that, that very reason. Just hardcore win the board here. Glad we held that righteous defense. That definitely paid off both from manipulating the hand and, uh, and getting a monster threat down here. I watch lots of shows with jerks, Mad Men, Breaking Bad, but somehow being fictionalized real people changes it. Hmm, that's an interesting perspective, yeah. I could see why that's like a little more frustrating feeling. What is even in here? I don't even know. 3 1? Okay, monster board. Cariel hopefully helps me clean this up, whatever's next. Um. I mean, side in here is just monster big. <laughs> Anyone else fancy some original glazed Krispy Kremes? I drove by a Krispy Kreme the other day. But we did not partake. We held off. Cool. Our hardships only strengthen our resilience. Remember the Good win. Big ol' side end made the difference. Our patience paid off. How rare. Favorite racer was okay, not great. It's kind of just an on-curve, vanilla, rushy minion kind of thing. Do I like any British shows? Uh, yeah, Inside Number 9 is one of my all-time favorite shows. I think it is actually insane. And wonderful. But there's more than that, too, I'm sure. I thought about it. Uh, what are things the direction that you're taking Paladin for this coming meta? I don't really know <laughs> what direction it is yet. There's, like, some mech stuff. There's some big spell... I don't know. I am also worried. Seems like most people like the big spell, holy spell stuff a little more than me. But, uh, I don't know. We'll see. I'm with you, though. Anyway, I'm going to pick this. I think it's pretty obvious the right pick. I mean, Flora's Lava is intriguing if I didn't have Divine Shields everywhere. I like the aggressiveness of it, but obviously the Divine Shields create some problems there. Draw. That's a good example of what that is. Yeah. Uh, that's not very good. Yeah, we'll take this. It's fine. These are decent minions off hero power. Well, not really. Crab Rider sucks. Wisdom's okay for us. Not great. I mean, th these are really not good buckets. I do like Dark Moon Dirigible, but Dragon Tamer's dead for now. And Hammer is just okay. It's not bad by any means. I get a dragon later. I mean, yeah, this is probably the better bucket, but I don't have one now. What are my likelihoods of finding a dragon? <laughs> Draw! Any, like, dragon treasures or... I'm trying to think, it's really not that likely that I get a that I get a dragon, right? I think I gotta go here. The these are low quality cards, but at least two of them cycled themselves out in many cases, right? So they replace themselves. When buckets are bad, I go for the cheaper one. That's a good strategy, I think. I like that strat. Crab Rider. 
I think I need faster. I do like Righteous Defense and a Crab Rider is kind of cool, though. But I think I need more aggression against this hero power. Righteous Defense is still good because I can deny one of their early giant minions, but... Ah, here is the swing. Okay, baby. <laughs> Let's keep Sidan as our only minion. Here we go. Here we go. Dredge does not reshuffle. No, it just moves it to the top. So, uh, cards that shuffle will say shuffle now. They're pretty good about that, I think. They'll say, like, shuffle this into your deck. Now that they've got more and more, like, actual deck manipulations, putting things on bottoms and tops and so forth. Whether you're a top or a bottom, they've got good communication. Repeat dredge stuff is a little weaker. Uh, I mean, you can still guarantee your next few draws. Like, the top stays the top. Watch me draw all of my minions? Yeah, no way. No way. We're not going to draw all our minions. No way! Nonsense. The light protects me. Um, if I coin here, what am I drawing? Am I getting Potion of Heroism every time? No, not every time. Okay, I think I gotta chill then. Blessing of Wisdom might be really nice here. Put it on the Argent Squire and get a guaranteed draw. That would be really sick. Is Dredge the next Inspire? I'm nervous about it, yeah. We've seen this before with a few different cards where... Improving the quality of your choice is really not enough. Usually it's it's often about resources. In other words, sort of brute forcing into more stuff tends to work out better than improving the average quality of your stuff. They both, in a lot of ways, achieve the same goal if you think about it, because if you just have three cards in hand, that's the same as picking the best of three cards, right? So it does come down to a, sort of an efficiency calculation then. Is dredge costed correctly? Is it too expensive for the effect? There's a lot that goes into that. But I still tend to favor resources and brute forcing. Uh, any idea for giving a keyword to while this card was in your hand? I've seen several cards with that text. So thought it needed a keyword. Hmm. Uh, I, I mean, I I don't know if a bunch of them existing is the reason for a keyword. I, I probably prefer keywords over non-keywords because for me it's easy to remember them and not a problem. I think Blizzard's logic sometimes is uh, keywords are actually kind of inaccessible in a lot of ways because you have to remember so many more for like new players. Or I don't have a lot of thoughts on that though. Keywords are easy for me because I play a ton, so... Whatever would work fine for me. This does not feel like the Righteous Defense target. I think I'm going to go ahead and play the Righteous Protector here so that the... Well, actually, I can fix that with Righteous Defense next turn anyway. Yeah, that should be fine. <laughs> Avenge actually seems kind of nice and flexible. I don't actually want more minions in hand right now, so... Divine Illumination. I totally forgot we had it, by the way. Want to make sure I'm playing like one holy spell per turn if I can. So play your big thing. I play Protector into Righteous. Hopefully I don't draw a minion here, although it's pretty dang likely. I have mostly minions left. Oh man, they didn't do a thing again. Okay. Cool. I'll play stuff then. That's fine. I love that this this uh, treasure just always um, like cycles into itself, you know? Not always, but sometimes, if you pick more holy stuff. <laughs> Sick <laughs> card reveal. Finley looks great. Thanks, man. The, the, uh, the, the, the playoff of Finley's effect getting me new cards to reveal it was just too perfect to pass up <laughs> i was like trying to think of a clever card reveal idea that's always hard to do anyway now that is a righteous defense target folks huh how does
does that interact with... The secret seemed to go off in the middle. Did it proc while they were still queuing up targets? I've never done that with a secret interacting, like, right in the middle of it. Oh, god tear draw. God tear draw! Uh... Yeah, Vindicator's pretty good. I like drawing cards. I don't really have to coin here, but I feel like I do want to put the threat down. It's actually a lethal setup if you can't deal with it, so... It kind of sucks that it's not taking a trade immediately, so if he does have removal, it's probably going to punish us a little, but I, I like just setting up the win, too. Wins are pretty good. Dude, <laughs> blessing of authority on this, by the way, I just realized I could get this to 32 attack. Not that I'd want to, because it could go face, but I could! All right. Uh... Well... All right, let's see what they got, I guess. <laughs> I like the one turn dormant thing. Yeah, I thought it was a really flavorful and perhaps surprisingly competitive uh, effect. Yeah. Like the idea of diving for a turn is cool. And then I, I, I think some of those might be good. I got to review them later today, I think. So I got to figure it out. I, I think I'm going to give the, the Pelican four stars. And maybe the Murloc three or four, but oh, that does not seem fast enough. Uh, okay, that keeps you alive, I guess. Oh, actually, does it? Oh, it does. Yeah. Does this ever kill him? Uh, this only puts me at twenty. Only puts me at twenty. This draws Ring of Courage sometimes, but that's no better. Heroism. Yeah, I don't have it. I think this is still the best play then. It's just not lethal yet, but this sets up a really good lethal next turn over the top even. So, it should be fine. I will not. <laughs> it should be fine. <laughs> I said it should be fine. I have a 2027 side hand that summons a Stegodon when it dies. It should be fine. Like I like I think it's not quite good enough. <laughs> oh shoot. Volt, dude, thanks to the 24 months, Volt. That's really nice, man. I remember subscribing a super long time ago. Says Bigfooted Joseph. That's a great name. Um, when I was playing all the time, now I just do battlegrounds and watch your duels videos. The Elden Ring playthrough has been awesome. Thanks, man. I'm glad you liked it. Elden Ring was super fun. I'm trying to still, as always, figure out. Oh my God! Look at this, dude. Is that enough? That's not enough. <laughs> I'm always trying to figure out. How to do variety content where people care about it, but I'm just learning, acquiring knowledge. This would normally be a six play, sick play. How was this big enough? How was that big enough to just tank the Onyx? Yeah, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Okay. Thank you, Sidan and Righteous Defense, winning every game so far. Uh, oh man, I'm kind of feeling it today, honestly. Like, this is clearly the better card, but I'm kind of feeling it today. Like, I don't know why I'm kind of feeling it, guys. I think we're going to get it. And there's nothing at stake. I just don't care at all. It's pretty good. Find favor is not bad at all for reload later. This isn't quite good enough for us, I think. Call to arms is, well, it's not bad. Yeah, it's actually not bad. A quality... Pretty good for us too with with Cariel and Consecration. This is definitely the better like buff package, but they aren't I'd say the cards are lower quality on average by by a mile. I think this is actually the higher quality thing. Is Divine Favor good enough to make up for these? It's also three holy spells to keep in mind, but this is two, and those discover me cards. I don't think I'm going to be super resource checked because I have I have a lot of resource generation here. Uh, Vars, I, I, I'm trying to make another Elden Ring highlight video. Yeah, they just take a long time and it's very busy right now. Very busy. I think I'm going to take group learning. 
I, I do, but it does bother me a little that it's a pivot. Um, but I think the only upside on this is Divine Favor, and I think this solves that problem. So I like this better. I like this better. Home Arms is still very fitting for our game plan to overwhelm people. So hopefully that's good. I know what that is a reference to because of my wife i feel like friends is on in the background in our house 19 hours a day <laughs> always on i don't like friends not a big friends viewer I'll, i never laugh i just i don't know i just never laugh I, it just doesn't vibe with me my wife loves it she thinks it's great I just don't know. So I think it's the characters. I'm not even sure it's the writing. I just I don't vibe with the characters that hard. We all like different things. That's okay. I'm sad I can't enjoy it. Wish I could, but I think the characters just bug me or something. Okay. Um, this is a really cool card with blessing of wisdom, but again, I don't really know if we'll need that. I think I'm just gonna take uh higher impact cards i do really like carry a lot though so particularly against this deck which does a ton of damage i think both the the armor gain and the denial of damage might be important carry not good at the base hero power here but any kind of buff obviously she's gonna scale pretty nicely but as you can see i did sort of sacrifice some curve potential never be afraid of your inner power okay Hey, that. That's a little better. A little off curve, but it'll be fine. Will I be part of theory crafting? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, I can announce that. I think yeah. Uh, it's on April seventh. Yes, April seventh. I will be doing theory crafting thingies. We're gonna be building decks and playing decks and and so on. Yeah. Thanks for asking. I forgot to announce it. You grew up with friends, so you love it. I think that's how my wife was, too. Happy wild people got included? Yeah, of course. It's always great. The more, the more, the merrier. This better get attacked, dude. I need to trade here. Oh, yeah. Okay. That'll do. Life steal upside, even. Not important right now, necessarily, but if I can, like, stick this and give it a blessing of authority. Uh, oh, okay. Well, all right. Still doable. Wow, trading in on it. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's dead. Oh, it's dead because a stupid freeze solid. No! So sad. I can bring it back. Is that good? Yeah. Not exactly. It's all I got, though. This feels so bad. Can't be the right play, can it? I am just out of minions again. This this happened before with this deck or a similar Divine Shield deck where I just got all spells that one time. I remember it totally ended our run. I mean, it's important that it survives. Th this would deny a hero power. Um, well, I mean, sort of. It, they could still do it, but and trade it in. It would be fine in that case, I guess. I always have like this plus this if I'm desperate next turn. Ah, eh, this is gonna spin my mana. It's definitely not. Go oh wait, hold up. That's a plus two. Oh, I forgot that gave plus two plus two. I was thinking it was only gonna be plus one plus one. It's repeat. So never mind. It is pretty good against zero power actually. I take it back. Not bad. Mm -hmm. 
You don't know why Free Solid is a tier one passive. Yeah, it's been good against us a few times the last few runs, for sure. It seems strong. Lethality of it is pretty crazy, I think. Hmm. Do we need to go hold the bridge now? Since they uh, were jerks and started hitting me in the face. I could go Blessing of Authority and try to hold the bridge next turn if I think I'm going to be alive. Or if this minion's going to be alive. The only problem is it could get frozen and then I am totally without healing for a turn. Minus drawing the right sort of rush minion or hitting one off hero power. I guess we can try it. I don't know, man. This is going to be really risky, though. Mm. Noble Sack can be pretty disruptive, actually. Yeah. It's not a holy spell, but it's still pretty disruptive against their hero power and minions. I think I'll be alive this turn, so hopefully this gamble with the healing pays off. Like, they overcommit face, I hold the bridge to heal, and then we're just good to go. Weirdly, I think I'm still going to be alive here, though, so it's probably okay. Um, Let's see if I can hit a rush minion off this, because I do have the favored racer in here. That would be pretty nuts, I think. No dice. Okay. This literally doesn't hit anything, but I just want to debuff it, I think. I can't rely on Noble Sack because of the hero power, right? Ah, uh, this also discovers me a card. City tax. Man, that would have been great if I hadn't hero powered first, but of course we wanted to get that rush guy. Um, I'll probably still take city tax since I have a quality that seems pretty busted. I think I think again I'll actually be alive here. I, I don't think we're dead. Their minions frozen, so these got that one on board. Okay. Probably gonna be okay to just carry L here too. I mean, I don't know. Quality City Tax is pretty good though because I can clear the 6 5 at this stage. Also leaves me man at a hero power again. Or a righteous protector, something is fine too. Mm. Yeah, if this died to carry L, I would do that, but I think we can go here. This is a little iffy because it is kind of my big removal. I'm just kind of banking on the fact that I'll be ahead enough that that is sufficient. Uh, Divine Strength with a Righteous Protector is pretty cool fill here. Question, I guess, is do I buff the Taunter here to deny their hero power or not? Yeah. Should be okay. This weapon's going to be so dead if I'm playing Carry L soon. I don't really have to yet. I mean... Could probably get by with one more turn since I just healed three and cleared their board and have a taunt for now. I think we'll be okay for a turn. <laughs> Calamos! Whoa! Oh, maybe we do have to carry out. Okay. <laughs> carry out, unfortunately, only gives us four. Five on that unless I attack with my face, which I guess isn't bad, but I'm not excited about it either, you know? Let's see what I get here first. Might change things. No, none of these are even freaking... Uh... This is kind of a cool combo, right? I think I like it a little better than Dunbaldar. Obviously, the weapon's not very exciting. Uh, do I tank four here? I think with Hold the Bridge, I can, right? Could also just go face for five, but I'm not really setting up a victory yet. I think I can tank it. I forgot to draw here, too. Yeah, shoot, that's nice. Okay. That's pretty good. Still a 20, so that's pretty nice. I don't have a great... This, like, this isn't bad, though. This can actually heal a lot, right? This is always a uh, six-point heal if there's the right stuff to trade into, so... God, it's a good reload again. Jeez. Okay. K. 
Teriel hold the bridge here is seven. Let's be hero power and heal for quite a bit. I'm theoretically a little better off technically hitting this, I guess. Yeah, that's better. Well, wait, how much damage do I have right now? Hmm. Five and seven, not enough. Not even really close. Okay, well, let's try this then. Apathy could be a very nice stall, okay. Carry on. Man, this makes me want to play this now instead of Cariel, huh? Just go face with the taunt there to protect it. This thing's even alive, weirdly, yeah. Does leave me a little uh, floaty on mana, though. Let's see what this hits. Yeah. I'd rather float mana and make a good play than... Because I think protecting this Divine Shield is pretty dang valuable. Against their hero power, among other things. Okay. Not bad. I didn't get to protect the innocent, but... I like this play better. Maybe stranded for a bit. Forever. Forever, actually. I guess maybe forever, even. Oh, man. Rag is nuts. Hit uh, the 1-1, one -one, please. Hit the 1-1, one -one, please. Five, seven, nine. Do I really don't have lethal? Six, seven, nine, right? Shoot. She can clear rag pretty easily with a buff. So I could go like goody two shields, buff carry out. Could discover off consecration. Um, could it does make the rest of my play a little bit worse though. Yeah, I kind of like it. I'll, I'll be fine anyway. Yeah, I think it's worth a shot since I, I don't think we lose if anything goes wrong here. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, not what we were looking for. Yeah, kind of sad. I sort of need this to hit Cariel. Nice. Let's play this safe here. Yeah, I like the going for lethal line. That makes sense to me, because like I said, even if it whiffs, it's not like we're in a losing position or anything. We're still in a good spot. Even if we hadn't cleared the rag, it's not the end of the world. We're still setting up really nicely. My time. God, they are hitting some heavy hitting eight drops all in a row. Kalimos into Brucon and Rag, or into Rag into Brucon, dude. They've got some heavy hitting plays. Snowfalls, Payload, Totem Specialist, like a lot of different win conditions baked into this. Uh, hey, Jay Shinnon, dude, thanks for the three months. Lethal with weapon in hand. Uh, it does the same amount of damage as this weapon. Back to 10. Great. Uh, Cariel discounts the crap out of stuff. This discovers me two cards. Should I Cariel first? Or not? Wave of Apathy only debuffs these a little. It's not super meaningful. Light guide my patience. This hits a Sidan, which is pretty cool, but I don't have a good buff for him. Yeah, let's start here. Didn't Blade used to be 3-3? Three, three? Um, I'll be honest, I don't recall that, but I, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Holy Wrath very often clears the Flame Tongue, but it's kind of expensive. Cariel could discount it a bit, though. Since she value trades anyway. Is that really worth the trouble, though? No, it's really not. Running out of time. It's really not worth the trouble. Let's just save it for later. Save it for later. Actually, I don't know. Let's see. Okay. Oh, wow. None of these are holy spells. Are you joking me? All that for nothing. Cool. <laughs> Great. 
<laughs> Perfect. All right. Another Rex rolls. Are you joking? Do not hit my carry L, dude. This guy's getting annoying to finish off. Oh, well, that carry L is totally fine. You can hit that one. I take it back. Hit that one. <laughs> How come Keymaster was never a good card? It is so slow. So slow. We definitely do not want oops all spells. <laughs> we have only minion buffs. Uh, Vigic Armaments is certainly fine for us. I don't think we need Bronze Signet, right? I think we're way better off with Armaments. Pretty nutty with many of our minions, yeah. I've never really played that much armaments, believe it or not. Death Rattles. <laughs> Divine Shield a little bit there. This is too expensive, so it's probably got to be here. Cheap and Divine Shield. The Wand Maker is kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, Keymaster is just a value card. Way too much value. I've noticed the same traps that always happen in card reviews coming up again this expansion when people are assessing cards. Um, just focusing too much on perfect scenarios for cards as opposed to average scenarios for cards. In other words, imagining like the best case scenario and assuming that's what the card will always be doing as opposed to considering the context of the cards in most game states where it rarely actually ever achieves those perfect scenarios, you know? Finding that balance is tough for people, it seems like, and um, an overemphasis on value as opposed to tempo. Hearthstone, more so over time even, has become more and more of a tempo game, a faster game, a, a pressure-focused game, and cards that rely too much on value can be hard to find spots sometimes. <laughs> so, if you're thinking about it from a competitive standpoint, that, that's always traps people fall into. Now, when I do reviews, I always try to showcase the, like, you'll you'll kind of notice the first half of a lot of card reviews will be me talking about the cool things it can do and then going, but the challenges for this card, and then I'll kind of go into why it may not work very well doing those things. Kind of have to talk through the other side of it a lot. Part of me, like, wants to keep this equality for their big stuff, but I'm just going to keep the carry on. So th I think that can help to... Still focus on the fun part of the cards and like what they could do. Like, man, that's fun. That's spicy. But then, you know, pull back a little bit and say, well, yeah, that's fun, but it might be tough. Pretty inconsistent and such. <laughs> okay. Are we tempoing our crab rider. It's not great in my button pool. I'd much rather have these. I think I'm going to wait. Really sad how slow this start is, though. I mean, it's going to feel fast in a second. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> Wasn't I keeping an equality? Didn't I say something about keeping an equality? Boy, oh, boy. Uh, Monster Hunter, dude, thanks for the 11 months. That's really nice. My, my thought process was I'd have a little more time, and if I develop minions, like, they're going to contest big stuff anyway because of avenging armaments, but I don't know if that's going to be the case. Man, that got big really fast. Okay, so apparently I was very wrong about my timing here. My good god. It's completely insane, dude. It's very wrong about how long I would have. <laughs> I mean, I don't think inequality would have helped either, though, for the record. I mean, what would I be doing with it right now? You're kidding! You're actually joking! Scepter of Summoning is a mistake! <laughs> Come on, dude! It's not even a Hearthstone game. So silly. Um, hmm, this is kind of tough. Like, Wand, I, you know, after that game, I'm like, ooh, Wand, that's spicy. Uh, but Ancient Reflections is also really fun, and not bad for us either. We have some cool ways to use that, I'm sure. Carry L's. <laughs> Carry L's, that's about it, but, you know, there's other good stuff, too. 
any divine shield minions pretty not so the avenging armaments at this stage um yeah i saw their name was challenge backwards Yeah, I'm going to take Reflections. It's just so fun. I do technically have a quality already, which is kind of like a... <laughs> it's sort of like a, a wand, if you think about it. Hmm, this is a really good bucket. But is it better than no bucket? I, I think it's not. We have a lot of good treasures. Some high power output cards. I think we... You don't have enough minions, though. I don't know what that means. I, uh, pro tip for uh, Twitch chat, if you want your streamers to understand what you mean. It helps if you speak in complete clauses, like if you remind the context, because, you know, we may see a message 30 seconds after we say a thing, and we just don't know what you're re referencing or responding to, because in that time, there's been seven sentences. You know, so offering a full, completely context sufficient sentence can help us understand. If you care, if you don't care, eh, that's fine with me, too. I don't care either. <laughs> it's OK. But if you want me to know what you mean, it helps. I'm not I'm not I'm not judging you or anything. Do you think? But I just I want to understand. Uh, OK like this I only respond to things said on streams at least three days old yeah exactly <laughs> Doo -doo -doo. all right but we fight. <laughs> you didn't take the deck bucket because it wasn't good enough but earlier you said your deck lacked minions uh, yeah, so like a three card bucket would increase the chance of me drawing a minion on any given state by what like uh, I don't know 5% or something 10% I don't even know it's not even that much uh, Realistically, but uh, it reduces the odds of me finding a key minion or a key treasure by the same amount, right? So I, I want to draw angel reflections. I want to draw light forge carry L. I want to draw favored racer as reliably as possible. So is the upside of increasing your minion consistency worth the downside of reducing your treasure consistency is the question you have to answer i'm saying no sometimes it is because your treasures suck like if we had bad treasures that i didn't think were game winning sure we didn't have key draws i thought were really good sure but we we do right i think we have really good ones in fact How old are you this year? I am 34 currently, but will be 35 in almost exactly two months. Be big, be big, baby. Be big, baby. Oh, that's pretty big. Oh, that's pretty big. Okay. That's pretty big, baby. <laughs> I love it. That's fun. My son will be born in about two months. Wow, congratulations. Maybe we'll have the same birthday. That'd be fun. Wow. What is that? Execute? You're kidding. That's insane. It's really good. Man. I am only sort of mad. I would say not even mad, but I'm a little mad. Uh, so I can get that guy back, but he's really not that good for us, actually, weirdly. I need to play a spell here. I want, to write, I want the right one. I think this is probably the right one. Oh, yeah. Goody two shields, man. Let's go. I don't need Rag Light Lord, right? I want... I want stuff. I want stuff. <laughs> hmm. 
Am I gonna break wild with the new shaman legendary and unstable evolution? I don't think so. I also think Blizzard's not gonna let it happen, maybe. Gallon tweeted today just the words unstable evolution. <laughs> it seems like they're onto it and perhaps I'm going to shut it down. Who knows? It's the vibe I got anyway. Would love this to be a dude. Goody two shields. Um, that's not bad either. Sure. I really want this, obviously, to uh, activate, but these guys are freaking dormant, you know? Like, this is going to be a monster buff on either Sidan or... Oh, God. Wait, what are these going for? I didn't even see. I thought... I just assumed they were heal. Oh, my God. They're going for damage off these. <laughs> oh, my God. I need to have a monster board, dude. Man. Uh, wouldn't the discount on Unstable Evolution get, uh, just happen on first cast? Well, yeah, but you can play two minions in your deck. <laughs> uh, you can play Wisps and, and, uh, Desk Imps and whatever else you want, right? And create 10 drops ASAP. As many as you can make. What, what is the deal? So it's the other minions people are worried about, not the, not the dude itself. Like, keep him chilling there. Turn him into a 4-drop at the end if you want, but... But I think that's the concern. Oh my god, they are literally just out of cards, okay? This is insanity. So hit, hit, hit for 10. Crab Rider can help me push through here too. This might not be a bad time to side in as well, though. Could hit and side in. Uh, I mean, this is only putting plus three, so it doesn't give me any lethals, right? 16. I go here and here. Can I, uh... Go for lethal? It's only 15, not quite. I think building out a side end makes sense, though, because these stats are kind of gross. It's a weird... Weird... Weird game. Uh, I mean, is my board gonna die, guys? Like, I, I'm like nervous. It's 24 damage. I think a lot of it will. This gets buffed a little. This is crazy. That's going up to six at least. That's pretty nice. Okay, so, so I've got seven, nine there. Oh, this one is going for healing. Oh, shoot, I gotta pay attention to that. Oh my god, Olgra. This guy doesn't play any actual cards. It's all just a bunch of random garbage. Oh, this isn't going off yet. It's staggered. Oh, I'm totally fine. I'm paying a ton of attention, and I'm really good. And I'm gonna be very, very good at this game forever. Um, yeah, so removing Echo, or, or giving it Echo instead of Repeatable this turn would cap it at one, or floor it at one. Uh, so on. there's like a few ways to fix it. Not make it a nature spell, like, you know, you can do a few things. I don't even know if I talked about, what, I don't know if I explained what we're talking about. We're talking about the new Shaman card, uh, what's it called? Oh god, I don't even know. What we're talking about is Radiance of Ashara, this card, and Unstable Evolution, the one mana card that's repeatable. They can kind of make a loop. Oh my god, dude, I'm gonna end up losing this game, aren't I? I'm one freaking. One freaking card off. Or one damage off. This is gonna deal 12. This is not healing yet, so I might just be able to go face. <laughs> is that really gonna work? <laughs> There's no way, right? There's no way that works. Let's go face. <gasps> oh God, I totally forgot that I was clicking that. I'm not gonna lie to you, I totally forgot. Totally forgot, don't worry about it. I picked a holy spell, that's all that matters. Definitely don't pause that and review it later. To see if I made a mistake. <laughs> Definitely don't do that. Mishkar, dude, thanks for the two months, man. 
I saw there will be some duels related news coming soon. Are you excited? Um, given that I am the one delivering the duels related news, yes. <laughs> I am excited. I mean, I know what it is already, so that helps. Uh... <laughs> yeah, Mishkar, thanks for the two months. He says, thanks for all the content and pleasure for the game. Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah, I still love Hearthstone. Are you excited to see our reaction? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. I think it'll be positive. Oh, my God, dude. I can, I can ranch just defense this, but I can't actually kill it yet. Oh, if I get a Rushman in here, I can, right? I can go face. I just need a Rushman in here. It's 7-9, yeah. Any Rushman in here is fine for lethal. Dang it. Dang it. This is gonna heal now. Shoot. Oh. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> well, well, well. Very interesting, huh? <laughs> I mean, I go for it, right? I totally go for it, right? Or does this wake up at the start of his turn? Oh, I bet it wakes up now. Doesn't it? It wakes up now. It wakes up now, so it doesn't even matter. Yeah, I'll just use this later then. I'm gonna lose though for sure. Like I'm too far behind. Yeah, this wakes up. If you can activate secrets in your own turn, that would be sick. I could have played it and then attacked his minion, but that's not how that works. I need Cariel actually to pull this back. This game kind of fell out from under us a little bit. I mean, we would have won right here with that was a rush minion, which there were quite a few in the pool actually. We had Sidon and uh, Favored Racer. Uh, Crab Rider even. Oh, he. Oh, yeah, he has rush by default. He would have been fine. Yeah. Are you allowed to give us a little hint about what you're going to reveal? Uh, I don't want to get. I don't want to get. I don't want to go to jail. That's not the hint, by the way. <laughs> it's not the hint, dude. Not the hint. Okay, that is a god awful draw, but this is a holy spell. So let's see what we get. Hammer's pretty meaty and good. Catacomb Guard, I can't really buff reliably enough. Hammer's pretty nice, though. I guess the question here is, though, do I hit face or do I wait? I feel like I kind of need to kill that Runthak. He seems spooky. Seems spooky. Oh, this guy's very large, though. I forgot he's very buff, so we'll play him for sure. I think we'll still kill Runthak, though. I'm not quite ready to go face yet, and this guy kind of contests that anyway, so. Let's hang tight. This is actually a really nice turn. This is gonna be a monster buff. We've got a debuff here, which I guess doesn't actually help against the Divine Shield, does it? Oh, that's probably not a smart idea. It doesn't really make a difference. Cool. It definitely doesn't make a difference. Uh, yeah, how is this game still going? Great question. He just wouldn't give up. Uh, Party Portal is a kind of cool buff target, I guess. Yeah, I don't hate that. Pure Cold is not really that useful for us, I think. We're not that lethal. We are. It's usually excessively on board. So, yeah, Party Portal should be fine. Uh, okay. Some good Divine Shield action here. We don't hate that. That's also a holy spell, which is important. This seems too iffy for us. I mean... Treasurable's not bad. Resumption's okay as a holy spell, but Ogre Mancer's a little iffy. This is holy, but not. we don't have enough Librem. I guess it's between these two. In a weird way, I kind of like this one a little more. Because I think these are all a little bit more independently useful plays. Maul can be iffy. Seal is like a follow-up. This is just kind of good anytime on one. Just cycle. Like the one mana holy spell discovering a card is actually really good. So I like that. You guys are bugging the duels master in chat right now, asking for hints. Um, 
Wow. Wow. Theory crafting duels would be really cool. I would be very conflicted, though, because I obviously want to do standard as well. I would actually do wild theory crafting, honestly, if if uh, they were all on different days. There was like a week of theory crafting. I'm going <laughs> to talk in a blizz right now. So like it's like standard and then wild and then duels. Sign me up for every day, dude. I don't play a lot of wild, but we play a little. I'd love to. Berserk, dude, thanks for the 21 months, a 13 month streak. That's insane. Pierre the Pickle says, um, you think you can pull off a deck where the only damage is from Flightmaster Dungar and you just need to copy and bounce him with Zola and Banker? Probably could do that. I, I wouldn't expect it to be good, but I think it'd be fun. This looks fine. We'll play Courage on the party portal even if it's just once. That's fine. Keep that, keep that alive maybe and keep it rolling, you know? Hey, Rebel Pilot thinks the seven months, dude. <laughs> Boulder Fist Ogre to 7-7. Seven, seven. It's the only change in duels. <laughs> that is the whole duels update. Boulder Fist Ogre goes to 7-7. Seven, seven, and the people were happy. <laughs> the people were happy. That would be pretty incredible. <laughs> Is this the same person again? The company man says, seriously, we've matched again. Is this you? Can you kill a party portal is all I need to know. This is gonna be tough. Do I ever go for the Stone Hearth Vindicator? The problem is it might draw, oh no. I knew I should have coined, bro. I knew it. I could feel it deep down in my bones. Oh, wait, though. I could just hero power it. <laughs> wait. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not so bad. We'll just hero power it every turn. Deal with it again, bro. Oh, my God. Don't kill it. Oh, my God, dude. This is so insane. Flame Waves 2 is just exciting. I love it. <sighs> now it's a 50-50. I don't think I can risk it, right? It's too bad if I miss. It's too bad. Mm, I need stats. Uh, I need health. It's pretty good. Okay. That's pretty good. Big old 12-9. It's a real shame you use that devolving missiles, huh? It's a real shame. Sure would, be, sure would be nice if you had a devolving missiles. Huh? Huh? Sure would be nice, wouldn't it? Man. If only you hadn't used that devolving missiles, huh? Huh? <laughs> this is where he just takes an aggressive turn. <laughs> Uh, we don't need reflections yet. We will definitely carry all though. That's fine. Hit for 12. For the alliance and my family, I fight. Carry L's big. Oh, I forgot we're drawing cards too. Oh my god, yes. This is insane. Side end later. Okay. I don't think we use it now. I probably just hit for 18. Dark Regis is out. Yeah. <laughs> BM Bully Regis is out, dude. I hate the volume missiles, so I got mad. I got mad. Yeah, order. I know. I didn't know I had Blessing of Wisdom, okay? Calm down. I mean, I saw it, obviously, but I didn't pay attention. Who cares? I'm just not in the place to care. Because you were a jerk, I'm roping you. Hey, you're the one who devolving. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. How do you know I'm a jerk? I think you had to be a jerk to be watching and know that I'm a jerk. So you're the jerk first. That's how it works here. Sniping. Hey, I caught your reveal today. It was a great video. Thanks, man. I try. I try. Reflections carry L. Could be cool, yeah. I think she's dead, though. 
seems very dead. This guy's getting beat on too, actually. Is he dead? Taking another four? No, not quite. So heroism here looks pretty good. Could also go for stone hearth first. Uh, it's a lot of weird. Yeah, it's actually not that good. No. Let's just wait here. Mm, can attack heroes is pretty weak. Let's just take some good minions then. Let's keep the stats up here. Oh, I could have attacked first again. Oh my god, shut up. I know, I know. Ogre already! Not like this, man. Not like this. I love the diver mechanic. I thought it was cool too, yeah. Flavorful and surprisingly, uh, I think kind of competitive. <laughs> Seems like a fairly slow turn. I mean, flame waves, though, of course, wreaks havoc on stuff. Although, I think we're going to get buffed out of range, right? There's only two, so it's dealing four, so yeah, we're fine. This is all going to get buffed up and then just hit face, unless they have another zero mana, maybe. This is going to four, would need six damage. This goes to three, would need six damage. Uh, this goes to six but need eight damage this would still be alive actually hey fino what's up dude thanks for the 484 person raid welcome everybody they're like what is this game mode <laughs> i haven't seen this before what's this card who is this what is this guy he's the favored racer Doesn't it do the damage all at once? Oh, maybe it does. Yeah, maybe with Divine Shields it never matters. Yeah, that's probably true. Because it did say negative four before, yeah. So yeah, actually, actually just super always dead. You've been playing duels for a week? Wow, dude. Awesome. I didn't know that. I am playing duels a lot of the time. Not always, but usually. I love it, dude. More duels love. This can generate a card for illumination. Mm, these are cool buffs, but not wholly. A little awkward, I think. Card quality here is pretty high. We still have pretty good call to arms, I think, on average. Not super perfect, but okay. Yeah, these first two suck. I think we go here. It's not bad. Wish there was a holy spell, though. This can only be a holy spell some of the time. Give me that group learning, baby. I love all my dual streamers equally. Fino, Regis, and Zeddy. Well, thank you. I love Fino the most, personally, but... <laughs> Company man, dude, what's up? Hey, you're back. Company man says... <laughs> You're a jerk, Regis. How dare you bully me while I'm playing against you? Which, of course, you'll only know if you're watching the stream. GG, company man. You ripped your devolving missiles too early. My uh, party portal scared you. It spooked you. You gonna tell Zeddy? I put Zeddy in a video today, so he should really be happy with me and love me a lot. And be very friendly to me. Okay. Racer's good. Tether Priest. Oh my. Let's get a minion down early. Blade seems silly. I don't need. I don't need that. Holy spells to get the chain going here. And we always have Ring of Courage in hand, which is why we built the deck. Ring of Courage buffs, but still. Oh. Gross. Ugh. This is better. A little better. But we fight. <laughs> Coin thought steal. Wow. Just opening it up hard. I I would think with with dragon affinity. I'm holding coin to cheat out my first big dragon, right? Maybe they're just really desperate for a play. Maybe this is all like eight mana. They just need stuff to do. Mind if I 
That might be the logic. I don't know. It's looking for an early game play. That is a crazy coin otherwise. To me, at least. I don't know their deck, though. I mean, I, I, I haven't seen a lot of dragons with mine tether. Another thought steal. What on earth is happening? That's actually pretty wild. Okay. Uh, sometimes this does whiff. I think I'll, I'll probably ring of courage here to fill. I mean, hold the bridge isn't bad, actually. Honestly, the heals. Okay. The divine shield's pretty nice. Yeah, never mind. We'll do this. Uh, Hydrologist is flexible. Allura's risky. Not too risky, but a little expensive. Let's just go Hydrologist. Getting a holy spell off that basically lets me cycle it a second time, right? I'm only losing one heal here off the... I mean, losing a lot of potential heal later, of course, but currently losing one heal. Yeah, Twilight Drake. Man, they went so hard on the Thought Steals. I guess they just wanted to fill the hand for this Twilight Drake. I, I guess that's the logic. That makes sense. All right, baby. Four blessings. Let's go. Oh, well, that's a good start. Eh, I like that less. <laughs> that's a good start, baby. Oh, my God. There we go. That's what we were looking for. The casual 21-21. <laughs> Shadowward Void incoming, right? Uh, no, they probably have the dragon guy, actually. They probably don't have Void, right? Um, okay. It's good. Side Ann's kind of a cool backup plan because he could be another big body like this, and then we might stress their ability to remove these taller threats. Could be really nice. I love favorite call. Oh, they top decked it. They freaking top decked it, dude. They top decked it, guys. Goody's pretty nice. Ooh, I like Righteous Defense on average. Yeah, it's really nice with side in hand too. Okay, still a monster board, honestly. All things considered. They top decked the ruin! Can the blessings repeat? That's a good question. Uh, I think they can repeat. We've seen some like double battle cried ones before where he went like absolutely insane. I'm, I'm feeling like we saw repeats on that, although they could have been across different battle cries, like different parts of it or whatever. I guess I'm not sure. So this is 11 on board. No carry L quite yet. Ranch's defense looks okay to me. Just go party portal righteous defense. Could even maybe dump the hydrologist first as well. Kind of want to see what I get off this though, because we're not too far away from lethal. I don't think it's happening this turn. This is only plus two. Maybe just dump this for the safety sake. Double mount is solid, yeah. Could have arguably, I guess, traded into this guy first to reshield, right? But I'm gonna just maximize damage output here. I think is this better on site and or just protect the portal and develop another threat? Uh, we're probably playing Cariel next turn. Let's just develop more. Oh my God! What a synergy piece, dude! Look at this guy. Bring your courage, this bro. Trade him into a taunt. Call it a day. Hey, Dark Dude, thanks for the Prime sub. You like duels, you don't preserve wild cards. It's difficult to make good decks. Yeah, we definitely play a handful of wild cards in most lists, that's for sure. I can imagine it being a little harder to compete. I kind of wish duels had like a starter deck option. What is this? Uh, 9, 13, 14, 15? Am I crazy? lethal cool bring your courage just just to be safe you know just in case i counted wrong it's always nice to have that buffer because <laughs> you know i'm gonna count wrong half the time oh holy book it's kind of cool it's a holy spell 
Big removal. Kind of expensive for us, honestly. Amalgamate, though, is pretty bad. Death Charger, I'm not particularly excited about. It's okay, I guess, but it's not... It's not, it's not, it's not a great fit. Yeah, whatever. I like it. It's big. I like them big cards. Okay, Knight's not bad. Holy spells kind of create multiple layers of cycling for us there. Get lots of resources. Primal Fin's intriguing. Steed is pretty cool. Bad and just expensive and bad. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Wish these were holy, but still good. Can't watch you a lot live in Germany, but love the YouTube vids. Thanks, man. That's cool. That's sweet. You think a dual treasure that lets you pick one card to always start in your hand would work? Probably be broken. Because as soon as you got another really crazy treasure, right, could you just pop off too reliably on it? Maybe not. Feels like it a little bit to me, though. Double call to arms. But no coin. Uh, is this even a keepable thing, or can I go? Do I need to go faster? I mean, I'm playing dirigible on three if I keep cold arms. I like cold arms a lot, so let's uh, let's keep it but dig for some curve. This feels nice and swingy. Oh, party portal into potion. That's pretty cool. If they kill it, I got hero powers. Hey, Mrs. Kilbin, what is up? Beautiful wife. Yes, look, look. They know you're real now. They all know you're real. Look at that. They also know that your hand is sweaty. <laughs> Oh, lotion. Got it. Okay. <laughs> got it. You gotta go. Ow! That's I, I got it on video now. I can show people. Alright, party portal on one's good. Bill! Says Zeruccio. <laughs> oh, yeah. Here we go. This is the hand. Actually, I don't know what good side Anne's doing me, but this is the hand. I'm gonna pretend. Uh, Protector's pretty good on average for us, yeah. Controlled uh, buff off of Avenging Armament's pretty sweet. Also just cheap and flexible. Job's done. Okay, so... Gift? <laughs> if I get some pirates, man, we're in business. <gasps> Do I have any pirates? Yeah, this turn's a little clunky, isn't it? I mean, Gift on Curve's not bad. We're gonna get to buff stuff. Not that these are particularly useful. My pirate count is zero, I think. But, uh... Sidan is definitely too early. This gets me another three drop, which is not bad. Gets me a card, which is not bad. Okay, I take it back. It is bad. <laughs> it's not wrong. It's very bad. So this is already a four drop. That's pretty cool. It's gonna get cheaper, too. Hopefully, anyway. This is an awkward board with all the buffs. Yeah, Amgam Rager was not the three jumper looking for, but yeah, whatever. Can this live? Decent chance, I think. That's actually, I need to trade off a minion, honestly. Shoot. I kind of called my bluff here, because I don't have a. <laughs> I, I was going to get a four drop and three small minions. That's. That's, uh. It's not good. We're. We're a little off here. Maybe I need to play like a fishy flyer instead in that case. You could go Argent Protector on the Amgam, make it like a little bigger. Could also prevent it from getting frozen in that case. Hero power is pretty weak there. Maybe it's just Devout Pupil? It's really not that, not that absurd. Force them to kind of push through this stuff. Pop off the freezers, dump the Pupil. Yeah, it's not, it's not a home run. It's not a home run, but it's not bad. He's getting bigger is nice. This getting bigger is nice. Yeah, we'll see. Next turn could be awkward with, with a four mana call to arms, unfortunately. Also, no holy spells in hand currently. Kind of gross. This guy being in my minion pool is pretty sweet, though. It's like a 6-3, basically. Half the time. Party portal could indeed, yeah. Imagine if this had summoned uh, a a good pirate. <laughs> we just dealt an extra four. That would be delightful. 
You think Gift on the Portal is better? I don't know, it already had the Divine Shield, right? And it was gonna create even more board lockouts. I, I liked it here. I think this was the move. Getting an extra Divine Shield for extra stats, basically. To me, that felt good. Debatable, though. I get it. I could see both. Hmm. If I trade in here, I get a much better reload opportunity on Call to Arms. Uh, kind of losing a little bit of damage efficiency, but that's no big deal. Let's, um... Let's go face... Do we know what the secret is at all? <laughs> oh, God! Do I actually legit go face now? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, why is that a wood drop still, by the way? That's so insane to me. <laughs> Might just play fishy flyer, man, and go face. I don't know, let's see what this draws. I got a potential explosive rune, so I think it's probably barrier because they're frost stack. Um, fishy is a little awkward. Maybe just buff with Arden Squire and go face. Yeah, I kind of like that better. This is going to die pretty reliably, so let's just go face. Let's just make them have it. They're getting to the point where, where AoE is becoming more likely, but I still think I have a good reload, right? So This is just nutty. If I go Avenge, I don't get to develop as many minions, right? I think that's a little worse. I mean, I can't. I guess I could play like a side ad or something, but it's not that good. I guess hero power was pretty good, though. Actually, if I think about hero power a little bit. Yes, buff everything. Wait, how much damage do I have? Two, four, uh, eight, fifteen, eighteen. So no lethal, I guess. This is kind of wild looking. I do want to go face a lot again, but I think I got to kill the Raz at least. I feel like maybe Blessing of Authority on the party portal is pretty nuts. Feels kind of cool. Maybe just dump the Protector to create some hiccups here. Um, I could use that to trade in that case as well. It's kind of a free trade. It's 20, did I count wrong? Works for me either way. I don't like it either way. It's enough. Surprised I didn't kill this. They were more worried about the card draw, it seemed like, than the damage. I wonder why that is. Wish I could bounce that back in hand somehow. Okay, so big damage. Uh, I don't really have a finisher yet, of course, but still a ton of reload. Ogre Master seems good against Mage. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, then. I see is yeah trust me it's happened to me a lot <laughs> it's happened to me a lot don't worry i have forgotten about avenging armaments a hundred times they also might have thought the weapon got buffed but it didn't kill it for the divine shield like yeah that's tough uh this looks pretty good at first glance i don't actually think we're very good with divine favor but it is a holy spell this just seems too low quality for us and we don't need all this libram stuff so Sure, guys. I gotta take a pee break. Everybody give me uh, 30 seconds and we will be right back to keep this run rolling. All right. Seven wins. Just like that, man. This thing's flying, dude. Only thing we lost to was that uh, crazy uh, scepter druid. That was nutty. Uh, did you wash hands? Oh, yeah, I always put them right in the stream, you know. It's a lot faster that way. Uh, oh, yeah, card reveal in 30 minutes. Oh, my God, I forgot. Yeah. Going to try to do another card review tonight, I think. Timing got a little weird. Normally I would have reviewed cards at noon. Cause that's when my but my cards came out at noon. So I didn't get a chance to. I'm thinking the one it looks like it might be the hunter. 
colossal or something. It looks really big and colossally and sea monstery to me. The reveal here shortly. Looks very sea monstery. May not be, of course, but. I've never gotten along with trolls. Never gotten along with trolls. I like this being a cheap holy spell. It can really open up the hand sometimes, but is it good enough? I think I need a curve. We're gonna get holy spells, right? Let's get a minion. Need if I had one minion, I would have kept that probably, but I need some kind of minion. Crab Rider is a minion. Not sure it's a great one. <laughs> uh, Leviathan's dope looking? Yeah. I agree. Mr. Hanky Pie, dude. Thanks for the two months. Winter duels updates being revealed. Uh... Saturday. Because I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Saturday. Alright, I like that this has a body. Yeah, we're losing Wind Fury. Yeah, it's bad, but I'm going to take one draw off this and that will be fine. Need something to do desperately here. They may not have a minion, right? So waiting on this until three could really throw us off. If they don't have a minion. Long time YouTuber says Mr. Hanky Pie and frequent Twitcher user. Always a Regis lover. Oh, thanks, man. I have so many lovers in chat. It's nice. <laughs> I have hundreds and hundreds of lovers in chat. Appreciate that. <laughs> cool. Blessing is nice. Potion of Heroism would be pretty good here, too. Thinking about coining one of these? Thinking about roping. Ooh, favored racer on curve. We keep hitting it and it's so insane. Uh, Shield of Honor's actually not bad. I kind of dig it. Yeah, I kind of dig it. It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. I kind of like this too, but it's okay. Had to, had to decide, right? We weren't guaranteed to get a two drop, so it's the right line. I think we go racer on four. It's even if it's not reactive, it's just usually such a big threat. That often that goes a long way. Coin hero power. OK, so we're putting a lot of work into this guy. Putting a lot of time and energy into that dude. Hopefully that means this dude's harder. I, I think I go here over Call to Arms, basically, right? I, I think this is hard to deal with. If they had, like, a Devolving Missiles, they might have already used it. Uh, I don't know. I mean, in some ways, you do want this to react, but how often is that going to happen? Let's just go. Make the decisive play now, you know. Need more health. Okay, that helps. Okay, yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Order wasn't perfect there, but I'll take it. Sudden wind condition. Dude, that's so crazy. Oh, dude, that's so crazy. They do have freezes, right? So they may be able to lock it out for a while. But if they can't actually clear it, I still have plays, right? That's the exciting thing. Uh... I don't want to go wide quite yet. Let's try to hold the curve here for one more turn at least. It's a really nice uh, recovery if this dies. Yeah, why is divine strength a blessing? That's a good question. Now that you say that, I've seen it a few times. It never actually occurred to me. It doesn't say blessing, does it? Uh, I mean, it feels like one. Yeah, but you're right. It does not say it does not say blessing. So that's interesting. Blessed champion uh, technically doesn't say blessing, but you know, it's sort of implied with blessed. You don't pick Same root word, at least. Oh, man. Don't get like snap freeze or some garbage and then get another freeze and then clear this with this freeze and the snap you freeze. Stop no, no, no. If that's snap freeze, I'm gonna lose my mind. No, no. 
<laughs> no. No. No! Oh, <laughs> okay. Interesting, uh, I guess. It's an interesting order, I guess. Oh, they didn't want to cast it because of this guy, I guess. Yeah, that makes sense. So, Consecration here is intriguing, but I think it's a little premature. Premature. Call to Arms hero power is totally fine. I want to develop more threat. Um. I don't really have any reason to soften this up, do I? No, let's just chill. Kind of almost too much board for this Ogre Mancer for the record, but this this Narabar Weblord might create some interesting pickles for them. I don't know. Some pickle problems. Blizzard's definitely a good answer. Still a little bit of board left for me, though, thankfully. This thing's just getting chipped away at, you know? I need, like, another big buff on it. So they can they can kill the ogre mancer now. Blizzard was a really really good answer. Oh wait, they're softening this guy up again. Okay, makes sense. Oh man, I think I'm gonna play that. I actually need some cards. Does uh? No, oh, this is interesting. I can get a really good clear here if I go for consecration. I get less cards out of it. I mean, they're probably going to have cards for a while, though, right? I don't really need to. <sighs> yeah, I, th I think I'm OK. I don't need to rush the divine favor is the logic, right? There will be good breakpoints for it later, I think. <laughs> Many bots are strong, but I for an eye can dump right now alongside a two drop for the better divine favor sooner. I think I like that. Normally hero power here would feel better, but I'm playing towards the divine favor specifically. Replacement consecration would also feel kind of good for this equality, but I don't know. <laughs> it says blessing on divine strength. It's just very small. Okay. It's not, It's called optimism. It's not even called blessing on the actual card text buff here thing. That could have been an out for it. I mean, surely this is going to die finally, right? This is one of those things where it's like, even though this is probably going to die before it gets to attack, it's done so much work because it's forced them to make suboptimal trades and pings and so many other things, right? Like they've had to ignore pretty much everything else the entire game so far. Although I will admit they've had some pretty nutty stuff here. So here I can finally go equality, I guess. This is so low, it probably doesn't matter anyway, right? <sighs> equality plus loot hoarder plus divine favor is pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, actually, uh, I forgot to get an extra card. I mean, it's still pretty good, but... Rally is actually not bad for us. Yeah, I like it. So this draws a bunch. Holy book's pretty cool. I didn't know you had it in you. Cariel's pretty cool. Side hands are cool. So this can burn me a card, but certainly that's fine. We are happily going to take these awesome cards. Quite, quite content. So this is finally dead. Um, sure. Guess testing secrets or something? I don't know. <laughs> Funny if they forgot they had to kill the 31. They're just like, oh, whoops. <laughs> Shoot. Looks like maybe a Kona cold or something. If they just went for like a frost over here, I could maybe like buff this up again, right? That'd be pretty sick. Right now, side and spike ridge looks really good, but I hate to freeze it. So I'll probably just still trade in a smaller minion if I go that route. It's just really good on curve. 
Uh, Cariel's not bad either, though, because I can start rocking the hero power with these Sidans in hand. They're going to be a little bit better on average, I think, than this hero power. I don't think I'll run out of steam either. Yeah, this is fine. We're not really ready to end this game quite yet. I think we're getting fairly close, but not... Not all the way. So stretching it out just a little bit with Cariel probably won't hurt us too much. We're not quite in, like, you know, lethal range yet. Not the side in we're looking for, but certainly not bad. I mean, God, we actually are kind of setting up to win. I mean, Cariel does four, so it's not like she's sacrificing a lot of, a lot of pressure here. We did kind of strand the sword. But that's okay. <laughs> I can take them. Pretty good. So more dresh is ready for them if they haven't. Probably was already, but it's definitely ready now. <laughs> they do take four off this though, which is not bad. For, uh, oh, they only take two because of Cariel. No, <laughs> Cariel, you idiot. No. That's going to cost me, isn't it? That's going to be the game, isn't it? That's it. I lose. That's just game over. Can't go round. Go, go. I think I'm just going to start hitting face, right? There is a risk that I get locked out with freezes, though. Kind of sucks. Ooh. Man, these together are nuts, but it's too much mana. I need... Like, I, w I could buff one of theirs, but that would be, you know, ugh. Uh... So I think we just go for size here, first and foremost. Um, I just hate that that freezer's there. Like, I, I don't want to deal with that. I want to go face, you know? I don't think it's worth holy booking, is it? Hmm. Doesn't seem like it's worth it. But if I go, you know, if I go like, you know, side and uh spike ridge or something this is just gonna freeze the minion out i guess that's not that bad though honestly because if he does freeze it i can just ancient reflections it because it may not actually die let's see what we get here because this could be uh like a consecration or something i actually like this okay this kind of gives them a problem to deal with while i'm hitting face a lot right and i think it's protecting me from the freeze a vast majority of the time the redemption doesn't do much. It's just the discover, right? We don't really care about redeeming uh, side end too much, but the discover is pretty cool. All right. And if they don't clear this, which might be difficult because it has a lot of health, then we can reflections it for a super sticky board, uh, which would be very cool. And I'm still, you know, I'm setting up to end the game at some point relatively soon anyway. Looks like they might clear this. It's a lot of damage stacking up here with a doubling. Zero power deals a billion. It's eight. Yeah, they're gonna clear it. What am I gonna have left after? This steals. Actually, this clears the two six. Yeah, but can they kill this side in? Did they account for the redemption side in? They only have two mana left. Does it live? If so, I can't actually buff it somehow. <laughs> I need any kind of attack buff for it. It does live. Wow. Do I have any way to buff it? For lethal. This draws authority, but that can't go face. Uh, hold the bridge would be lethal. Wand maker could also get me a lethal. Ring of courage. Potion wouldn't be. Let's Let's see what this draws, though. Because it's cheap holy spell lets me also discover. Oh, that'll do it. Okay, cool. Wow, dude. Doesn't matter. Cool. <laughs> yes, the redemption did make a difference. They didn't calculate the extra minion left over. Cool. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. That got a little scary. I, I still think that, you know, putting them on the back foot with that uh, dude was insane. 
Worshipper's pretty nuts with reflections. It's not bad in general. I think we can work with a Worshipper. Decent buffs here. Bragger definitely has some upside for us. This is not really for us. Not really for us, yeah. Cool. Oh yeah, 10 minutes till the card reveal. Yeah, sick. We gotta finish this game fast. I was planning a short stream today, but this duels run is going so freaking well. I don't know if we can. I gotta keep rolling, man. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. What? I hadn't thought about that song in 10 years until I saw it in a uh, Elden Ring highlight video in which a man made his character look like Sonic and rolled around a lot, which is something I did a few days prior. Uh, not saying he sold the idea, by the way. Obviously a very uh, easy, independently achievable idea. But I'm just sad that his video got like half a million views from the same joke I did, but I didn't do a video in time. Not that mine would have gotten that many because I don't have the, the base for it, but still a little sad. Now if I do it, they're just going to say, you copied this guy, even though I did it a few days earlier. <laughs> so I was like, oh man. So I just kind of lost that joke. I can't really do it. <laughs> it's just like, man, this is why I need an editor for variety content, you know? Man. Man. This is this a bad cue? They fix that? That'd have been a real cue. Rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> Why Elden Ring is good? Uh, there's like a million reasons. I don't know. It's fun. <laughs> it's the main reason. It's really fun. It's beautiful. It's challenging. It's rewarding. It is a game that does not care at all about extrinsic motivation and only cares about intrinsically motivating you, which is awesome. Do I still dabble with New Game Plus here and there? Uh, I haven't for like a week, but I'm on Journey 3, like almost done with Journey 3. I probably won't do a lot more. Uh, just time constraints have been crazy. Are Q's down? I don't know. Somebody else said something was happening. I'm not sure. Maybe a little hiccup? Absolute B gel. My own way. A priest should be devoted to the light. Yet like I said something bad now, I don't know. Shadow. Don't read things you don't know what they mean, Regis. Uh party portal call to arms. It's really greedy, but I'm gonna do it. We can res the party portal, right? So if it gets dead. If it gets deaded, we can bring it back. Sounds for bagel? It might. Since we're in the video, just in case. Yeah, maybe, yeah. I'm always nervous about that stuff. <laughs> book of Wonders! Yes, that's fun. If I lose a Book of Wonders, I'm a happy person. I don't care. I, I will take that loss with glee in my heart. Mummy magic is spooky, though. Oh, boy. His hand's okay, I guess. Uh, I take it back. I'm annoyed already. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm actually already mad that I'm losing. I take it back, dude. Uh, wand maker, huh? I'm going to play the crab rider. It kind of screws me in a weird way because it puts a minion in the res pool that I don't want. I want the party portal in the res pool, but it also increases the odds that the party portal just lives anyway. So, I don't know. Let's see. I don't know how to beat mummy magic. It's going to be really tough. 
I just need a good punchy board like they can't clear and just hit for 30 or whatever. Hit for 40. Yeah. yeah, at least I didn't get survival of the fittest with it. Can you imagine? <laughs> just casual four or five fives on board. Well, if they AFK, that could be one way we win. Oh, no, they go for the portal. Okay, that gives me the hero power, so that's fine. I mean, I guess it gets contested again pretty easily, though. Maybe we wait a minute. Yeah, we just wait. I don't really have to play it in the cold arms anyway. Noble Sack is actually pretty bad here. Yeah, I wish it was a holy spell. I'd feel better about playing it, but I don't think it's good here. It might be really important later to disrupt the trade. So I don't want to force it. Narubar. Good go hero power. Try to hit a portal again, but it's like, what am I getting a noble sack? Let's just go. Just go for some more katude. Oh, that order, dude. If he was first, we get pings. As I recall, anyway, I think that's how it works. I think that's it. His hand is really bad because I don't have any holy spells right now. Completely devoid of holy spells. How can this be? How can this be? Dude, I wanted pings, man. Give me good pings, man. Ugh, still not really very good pings. I hate this, dude. Like, this is a decent six, but then I want to follow up with Cariel, but I'm out of cards. We normally hit holy spells that more reliably fulfill my needs for cards. Uh, it's gone pretty poorly here. I guess I just wait. I've got some okay trades. Oh, gross. Can you maybe get a negative one, dude? I need them to get a negative uh, book, not a good one. Reverberation. Get a bad book. Get a game losing book. Blessing of Kings is insane with the side end later. Yeah, we're going to go sword hero power here. Um, God, I kind of need to test this. What do we think this is going to be? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, party portals nuts. I kind of put a bad minion in the pool there. I don't know why. I don't think I should have. I think it was wrong. I think it's just objectively wrong. It's like, what are the odds that's explosive trap, right? It's very low odds. Wandering monster would be okay. I'm going to go for it. I need to know. I need to know. Okay. I need to know. So this is insane if this lives. Like, just insane. It, well, I guess it could be snipe. Could be pressure plate. Could be ice trap. It may not always be insane. Sometimes it's going to be insane, though. On the Sometimes. Okay, wow. Jerk move. Don't be snipe. Could go here. Actually a pretty nutty combo, isn't it? This plays better around snipe as well. Am I killing the 3-3? Three, three? No, probably not. Maybe if I ping it twice, I will. Ping it twice? This is fine. All right, so we think it's a spell-based trigger for sure. It's about all that's left. I don't know. Whatever. 
Didn't we test for ice trap? Uh, did we? It says we didn't. Uh, Noble Sack, did it test? No, I think we played that before the secret came out, right? It was like a random little secret guy. Oh, that is so gross, dude. How do I beat that, man? How do I beat that? I really, I really can't side on it because he's going to destroy two minions. I mean, I could try, I guess, but. Could go this route, but. This is only a 4-4. Four, four. It's awkward math. Just hate this. Like four, four attacks, not really enough, you know? Some ways I like carry out a little better. Just hit, hit, attack. Or no, just hit and hit and then carry out, right? Sacrifice this guy. I think I like that better. It's just easier. Just resets on these. I guess I can do one. Oh, no, I can't. Can't do a face damage. There's a ton. I think I like this better. Just ignore it for now. Oh, I forgot to attack face for two, though. Oh, my God. Don't Just don't look at me. Don't look at me. Just don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> don't look at me. I'm a monster. Your cry. I think I think that's the right play though. Minus the not attacking part. That that obviously is not good, but I like the rest of it pretty well. Uh hand buff in particular with side hand in hand becomes crazy good. Although I still think we have a problem with that 8-8 on board. <laughs> Specifically with that 8-8 on board. Um It's five. The problem is I gotta play these in the wrong order. Quality hits not bad. I guess that would let me test this spell as well. Yeah. The answer is here. It's ice trap or something else. Oh, new cards out. Under the light. Sick. Oh, I was really hoping for another holy spell to keep a chain going. I mean, Lanessa is probably not good yet, but might be later. I mean, even with just a blessing of king, she's kind of cool. Ah, it's just a cat trick. Okay, cool. We can live with a cat trick. Do I play nothing this turn? It's an unfortunate roll. You want this to be... You, you want to play this last, obviously, for the Divine Shield. New card! A Naga Giant! Cost one less for each mana you've spent on spells this game. Holy crap. It starts at 20, though. Second, I get the card in here. The Naga Giant. Cost one less. The will of the Forsaken is unbreakable. For each mana. Oh, that's not what I wanted. You've spent this on spells this game. Oh, this guy's cool. I haven't seen this guy in 100 years. Seven, nine. Just really wish I could hero power the side in, you know? Feels really bad not to. Still better to find shield than I'm sure, but it just feels really bad. Face me, or I have chosen. It's just such a meaningful buff, you know? Okay, holy spells are great. We need those. Not this turn, because I want to make sure I keep that chain going right, but later it's really, really great. I'm running out of resources, so I kind of have to. I gotta save it. I, I, mean, I think this is right. It just feels really bad, right? Uh, where did that go? Here you go. Naga Giant, 20 mana, costs one less for each mana you spent on spells this game. It's kind of cool. I mean, he's, you know, five mana spell. It's 15. I mean, well, it's actually it seems like it's gonna be hard, right? Like, even if you played a spell every turn. Right, if you played one, two is three, six, ten. 
You can have it to be like five mana on turn six if you filled your entire curve with spells every time. That's going to be kind of tough, I think. Like in the late game, you can maybe dump a couple of these pretty affordably, but I think there's going to be some tough times getting that to go off. I don't know. Let's discover first. I know I could discount it. Oh, no. Regis, you didn't discount it. Oh, no. I mean, Dino Size is the meatiest play here. But I am definitely running out of stuff to do. What does she have? She has Blessing of Kings. Is that it? I feel like I haven't really played that many buffs. I think I need to hold her till I get like a Spike Ridge Steed or something. Probably can play this just to uh, cycle it. Seems fine. I do kind of lose a minion guarantee with the dino size, I guess, but whatever. Just make more big stuff. They have the heal, right? So going for damage right now doesn't really line up very well yet. Uh, we have not. No, it's just not this expansion. There was another interview where they said there's going to be one this year. They're just working on it. I don't think it ever actually said it was going to be this expansion. It just said it was going to be this year, and everybody kind of assumed it was going to be this expansion. Uh, but I don't think that was ever uh, part, of the, part of the deal. I mean, hold the bridge is a little better, but it's exactly what I said would happen, by the way. I have no freaking... I mean, I gotta play this, right? It's just, I got to. I'm gonna lose my freaking loot hoarder, though, man. They have answered my stuff so well. Man. I mean, I need to play this holy spell to cycle, so I guess I have to Lanessa. Like, I don't want to use this on their stuff. Buff first, then I can't play this holy spell to cycle. I mean, I can wait for a turn, but. Oh my god, you're playing me. I'm the priest. You guys were right, it stands for bagel. <laughs> you guys actually called it. It does indeed stand for bagel. I'm just giving them this minion if I do this, right? I could just hold a turn, but I don't think I have time. I think I'll die. It's just nothing for me to hit that's interesting here. Just giving them a trade back. I regret playing this. I think this was wrong. I think I should have held it for the dino size. Of course, it might have been even worse to get stolen then. <laughs> but, you know, uh, it's okay. <laughs> I'm holding Seance, Amara, and a hero. You have no chance, man. Ah, it's you. Okay. Maybe just play the game instead of talking about it in chat. <laughs> it's fine. I ain't gonna concede, so <laughs> do your thing, but Oh my god, Canopic <laughs> Jars is insane. I have I have a wand is what I need. I need holy book into Be quick. something. I don't know. <laughs> Stone hearth vindicator. Does this draw a holy spell? Usually not really, but I need a minion anyway. Can't hear up our first. Just too much commitment. True strength comes from within. Divine favor is pretty intriguing. Okay. Pursuit of, oh my yog is fun. Ancient reflections is kind of fun. Consecration gives them more minions, probably. My dead on board. Three, four, six, seven, ten? No. <coughs> Blah. 
I'm losing my voice. Light guide my patience. Uh. Okay. Out of time. <laughs> Remember the folly. Okay. I'm not dead. Can I maybe win? Oh my god. Psychic Scream gets yogged. Oh, dreadful. Uh oh! Oh! Okay! Let's go! I like that! That's fun. Maybe we get a big hold the bridge here? That's fun. Hey, DG, dude, thanks for the tier one for two months, man. Safety restrictions offline. Harvesting servos. Oh, Thank gross. You. Is this Battlegrounds? Wait, this, that's OG Battlegrounds, too. That's fun. Moonfang. Can I deal 28? These deal six on their own. 15 and five is 20, 22 plus nine. I think he's dead? Did I math something wrong? No, I didn't. I think I got it. Remember the folly. Huh. I'm just gonna scroll up real quick. OMG, you're playing me. I'm holding Seance, Amara, and a hero. You have no chance, man. And now I have Shadow Word Void and Jars. GG's. The answer? GG's indeed. Bagels, GG for real, man. Thank you for being a fan. I appreciate it, man. I'm giving you a hard time, but that was fun. <laughs> okay. That was a highlight for sure. <laughs> I do. No, I deserve it when I come back. No, I appreciate you being a good sport. I appreciate you being a sport. Thanks, man. That was fun. I did enjoy Bagel proving he wasn't sniping by playing into Yogg. That's true. It's a good point. Yeah, he definitely was not sniping. Or he gave us that one. One of the two. I don't know. <laughs> I think I think he's a plant paid actor. Yeah, he wasn't sniping. That's true. I mean, he had the nuts early. I felt like every card got answered perfectly. Bagel, please tell me that wasn't your uh, final loss, because I feel like you're going to go 12. That deck was nuts. Hey, arms of Michelle Obama. <laughs> Having a great day. <laughs> That's a funny name. Uh... No, you. that was seven wins? Oh, my God, dude. I'm sorry. I feel bad taking it now. I feel like your deck was really good. I had a loss to give. Uh, yeah, thanks, Bagel, for the content. I got to figure out where to put that in the video schedule. <laughs> I don't have any room. <laughs> I got so many videos. But I feel like that was absolutely worth it. That was an incredible 19-minute game on top of that. You are definitely going to be in a video, Bagel. Don't worry. <laughs> in fact, I need to take a screenshot of your messages so that I have them ready to go. Hold on. I need that for the video. I will savor this victory. I wish I had the live chat, but it's a lot harder to get that. I didn't have it up, so it's really hard to reproduce that. I mean, I could. It's just a lot of work. Have to find it in the VOD, and it's easier to just do the screenshot. Uh, okay.
cool. Uh, these are all too expensive. Yeah, whoever called the bagel. Yeah, you're right. It was bagel. Yeah, that game was just full of <laughs> like, great moments. That was an awesome game from front to top. Front to top? Front to back? Top to bottom? I said front to top. <laughs> <It's just laughs> front to top. That's a funny phrase, too. Oh, boy. We like loot hoarder. That's a good uh, hero power card, too. All right, that's a turn, bro. Calm it down, man. <laughs> yeah, Arms of Michelle Obama is such a great name. <laughs> I'm safe in your arms. Front to top is a bald guy's forehead. Ah. <laughs> Clever. I like it. Oh, God, these aggro starts like this are crazy. Dirigible is a pretty solid option, honestly. Uh, Yeah, we can't wait to corrupt it. I just need the body down. Avenging armaments makes it feel like it contests pretty well, I think. I was listening to a podcast, a Conan O'Brien podcast uh, the other day, and they were talking about Regis Philbin, and there was like this whole segment where they kept saying like, oh, Regis, I love you, Regis. Regis was so nice to me. I wanted to be like, oh, I need to copy that, man. Give me that. I'm got a Blessing of Wisdom, their man crick here. Just to get the uh, Divine Illumination in there. Or not their maker, their sleep breaker. Whatever thing I don't kill. Because I want to get it now as opposed to later. Of course, I can't afford it on my own carry. L. She needs to attack first. Uh, this is not the best, but it is a holy spell. So maybe later I can use it. Don't think I need a humility yet. And that carry all pulled me back in the game pretty quick all on her own. That's kind of crazy. Like, that's a lot of stats to deal with suddenly. Next turn's a little worse, but... I mean, I could go I could go with Squire Sermon next turn. That's not that bad. The calm before the storm. Oh, they choose not to hero power here. Oh, never mind. They're hero powering. Only got two coins, though. Okay. I think they're just gonna go face ever? It's scary. I I, I kind of hope they don't. Oh, gross. I mean, that gives me a trade here if they don't clear this, though. Mm, okay. I don't think I can risk the invigorating sermon, can I? Hit, hit. I mean, maybe. I don't know. I get another card out of it, which can be a big deal. Still winning the board, actually. Could find, like, a Consecration. I don't know why I played that first. It actually does not matter. Absolutely does not matter. Uh, yeah, these all suck, unfortunately. I was really looking for... I think, oh, I could have attacked first and played an Argent Protector. Oh, I forgot about that. I'm an idiot. That's what I should have done. I would have rather played this, right? I could have played three and two instead. Yeah, I like that way better. Oh, they're starting to trade a little bit. Oh, nice. That's a good deal. That's a good deal. Greedy pickaxe. Whoa. That's greedy. It's funny, this is back to three. I like that a lot. That's amusing. Yeah. Can I snipe that reliably? Mm. Almost doesn't matter. I just need to. Let's just clear it. Let's just play it safe, right? I want to pop the shield anyway. Make that way bigger. 
play this safer this way. Oh, Kariel's a great roll too. Nice. Okay. Suddenly a big counter threat, but I'm at 18. I need to find some healing. I need to find Kariel or... I guess a... Uh, hold the bridge would be pretty nice. Figure that out, I'm sure. Ugh. It's a lot of damage if they want it. They probably take board and damage, right? Maybe the two damage? Oh, they're gonna heal? Oh, it's everything. I forgot it's all four. Never mind. They don't care. It's always all four. Oh, that's a great righteous defense target, actually. So we go portal righteous defense for four. If I play the portal, I lose access to the Argent Braggart. Well, no, I can just Braggart first. Oh, no, never mind. This is perfect. And then I can portal defense. Yeah, I like that. Then it also hits the fishy flyer for later. Yeah. You can attack with Cariel first as well. This is my responsibility. For a little mana gain. Does that matter? I'm always going like this, right? How does that work with the cards that were already increased in cost? I might have goosed this. I don't know, actually. I, must have I might have goosed this. I'm not even sure it's good because I'm... Oh, God. Yeah, I don't know about this. <laughs> I'm losing a lot of things and stuff, too. I don't know about all that. That seemed iffy. I'm not sure that was any good. That seemed really shady. Guys, that's not how that card works. I'm just dead. That's guys. That's not how that card works. I just want everybody to know. That's not how that card works. God damn it! I forgot it's an aura. Ah! Huh? Impressive. I could have killed it too. I could have just killed it. I mean, we would have been really low regardless. Actually, I actually have a lot of spells. This I've heard this card's really good. I don't know if you guys know this about this card. Not many people know this about the Clockwork Assistant. It's really cool. It's an aura effect. It's not. It's not like a battle cry. So, for instance, if somebody plays a debuff on it, say it goes up to eight eight, right? Because you've played seven spells. If somebody debuffs it, like if they set it to 1-1, one, one, it actually stays in 8-8. Eight, eight. Not a lot of players know that, but it's a good piece of information to have. Definitely something you shouldn't forget in the middle of the game. It could, it could actually cost you a game if you forget. So be sure to remember that. Just be sure to remember that. It's a really important thing to remember. Yeah, very good to know, Regis. Yes, good to know. Yeah, thank you. Glad you found that out the hard way today. Well, I'm glad we had a little teaching moment. I'm glad you guys can learn something. I, I'm happy to have sacrificed that game in order to teach you that. That was good for me. Thrilled, <laughs> thrilled that I was able to take that sacrifice for the good of the stream. <laughs> I think that was really important. <laughs> that we all got to see that in action. I don't think explaining it would have been sufficient, but but I think since we really took a moment to to see it, that really helps us remember it. Uh, we didn't really talk this much about the card. I forgot. We got in the zone there. I forgot to talk about the Naga Giant. I, I think this just feels too slow to me. I don't know if the kind of, like, turn seven double dump of these is going to be enough. feels like f the old Flesh Giants that were good did this sort of thing faster and better. I don't know if this is going to be going to be competitive. Feels like if it was 15 mana, I'd have some hope for it, but 20 just seems so high. So high. So high. Okay, well that is obviously gross. I can try to kill it with a favored racer if it's not like stealthed. I mean, Worshipper could- oh god, are you joking, dude? 
Right? Just defense me, bro! Oh my god, why is it so big? Impressive. Oh, it's so big. I have to make a big decision here. Do I take the, the righteous defense role on the Vindicator and try to deal with it now? Or do I hold for the coin racer to deal with it? I'm going to hold for the racer. Uh, I don't know. This is so unlikely, right? Righteous defense, like one out of huh. seven or something. Impressive. I don't even know. Probably less than that. One, two, three, four. Oh, of course he gets wind fury. Don't get stealth. Just don't get stealth. Divine shield's actually okay as long as he doesn't play a fire spell. Okay, cool, dude. This is really fun. Zero mana cards are really healthy for the game. Every time. I can get... I can get a fledgling, guys. All right, this is going to have to be the world's best favored racer. I almost call him the flavored racer. He tastes he tastes delicious. Delicious. I need taunt and, well, I don't know, just a lot of stats. Taunt and a lot of stats. I don't really care about attack much. That's too low. That's good. Mm, that actually... Oh, God, dude, if only. So. If I pop the shield. Like, if he pops the shield, he can clear it. If I pop the shield, he can clear it. Same difference. Which one gives me more chances to succeed? I don't know. This gives me a card. It's literally the only... Oh, it gives me stats, too, actually. Okay, that is better to pop, then. I get the stats, yeah, and I get the card, yeah. Okay, probably dead, but just in case. So those alone are not enough. He's only another four to this. That's not enough yet. He still has to trade this in right now. Okay, that's... What a hand, by the way. Double First Flame and double Hot Streak in his opening hand and Fire Sail. That is actually the craziest thing I've ever seen, dude. So if I resummon this, it has Rush. Oh, but I don't always get it, even. I mean, this can technically summon some taunts. I don't know. I'm kind of over it now. Cool. I mean, I've never seen a hand like that in my life. He had, he had six fire spells that totaled four mana. So I just take 12 damage, let alone, of course, clearing that minion with like almost no mana like that was actually just completely insane i i, I just you, i can't even complete with that like that's what are you supposed to do like they're literally unwinnable literally unwinnable um okay Good run, though, honestly. Good run. Great highlight moment, too. Great highlight moment. Uh, okay. Bad pack. <laughs> Garbage pack. What happened? Uh, do you have any theories about any duels changes when rotation hits? Uh, no. I know what's happening, so. <laughs> no theories. <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. I mean, I don't, I don't actually. There, there will be duels reveals soon. I'll say that. Duels reveals Saturday on my channel on YouTube. I really need to get to work on that. Here, look, right here. 
March 26th at 9 a.m. at Regis Kilbin's YouTube channel. That is a duels logo because there will be duels things to talk about. Duels things to talk about. Uh, speaking of which, let's talk about this Naga card one more time. Is it on here yet, I wonder? Uh, giant? No. Uh, da, 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 da. Why must you make us wait this long? I gotta finish the video. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> uh, I barely finished my card reveal. Now I gotta start over. Yeah, here we go. Naga Giant. It just feels really expensive to me. I don't see it, right? I just don't see it. There is this kind of paladin package coming together where you're spending mana on spells and you're playing for this, like, crazy big swing turn in the like mid to late game like you come turn seven and you just drop a mountain of stats and stuff so like maybe naga giant could be a part of that where you just drop two eight eights and that four eight taunt and a two four taunt and a one two taunt and you buff a couple things with five five divine shield buffs for zero mana and it's just like you've got this monster monster board but it, it feels like that's not the right kind of way to win in hearthstone these days anybody with a with a decent aoe one brawl right and it's just gone it's just gone spell druid has so many spells yeah but it's more about the mana you're spending so how quickly you get it down so like, like we said right you spend one mana even if you play the spell every single turn at the start of the game right uh, so you spend one mana, and then two mana is three, and then three mana is six, four mana is ten. This is still ten mana when you get to turn five. You play a five mana spell, this is fifteen, and then finally on turn six, you can make this zero mana. But that's a perfect curve scenario, right? I think it's way more often this gets to zero around... Uh, you know, seven or eight. And the problem is it doesn't even get to like three before that. You know, it's not like you're getting to three on turn seven. If Druid gets enough ramp back because they're losing overgrowth and lightning bloom, maybe that helps sheet it out a turn or two sooner. But I feel like, I feel like it's just like turn eight. Is that fast enough? If that's when it's coming down on average, I, I feel like it's not going to be fast enough. I feel like the, the thing that made Flesh Giants so good and so scary is that they were coming down so much earlier than that. And that if they came down on turn eight, you know, they wouldn't be a problem. And that's probably even true to some extent. So to, to make that make sense, you have to build this like really overwhelming and um, like insurmountable threat which is a little bit susceptible to AOE, right? Any kind of brawl effect, any kind of wide board removal will just kill these all at once. I, I don't know. I, I mean, honestly, zero mana cards in a bioluminescent shaman is kind of cool. <laughs> the fact that they're 8-8s eight doesn't matter. They're just zero mana. It makes me nervous. Now, obviously, like I said, Druid has ramp. They can play more mana faster if they get enough ramp back. So far, we haven't seen a lot of ramp yet, but, you know, we don't know Corset. We don't know the final cards. So that could be one out, out. I think the Paladin thing where they're spinning a bunch of mana is another out, potentially, but still seems like it's susceptible to the same problem. Yeah, duels is... I don't review for duels or wild. Everything goes in duels and wild. Who knows? The, the rules are so dramatically different, right? So... I don't try to I don't try to guess duels. Guff is ramp? He is, but he's only one. Currently they have Guff and Overgrowth and Lightning Bloom. And that's what makes the ramp package so successful. When you only have one, I don't know if it's enough. They're losing two thirds of their mana acceleration. Not that Lightning Bloom is exactly ramp, but you know, functionally it helps you spend more mana faster. <laughs> hey, Idolax, dude, thanks for 26 months. Yeah, Celestial's a good thought. Yeah, Celestial making it... But, I mean, cards like this actually kind of lose a little bit of value with Celestial. Yes, they go to zero, but you could play anything for one with Celestial, so would you rather just play something awesome instead of just an 8-8, you know? 
Sometimes that zero mana does help you on the celestial turn, like stabilize and, and make a big push. But I wonder. What's the community reaction? Well, you guys are the community, but we can read. <laughs> Here, we'll check out Reddit. I think you guys count. Uh, let's see. What are they saying here? Naga Giant on Reddit. What's the take? Shervala, but neutral. Uh, I mean, sort of. <laughs> I guess that is an angle. If you could do anything mana man manipulation wise. Yeah. Yeah, this wasn't going to say minus Divine Shield, Lifesteal, and Rush. Yeah. Sort of Shervala. Uh, <laughs> what does Ja Rule think? <laughs> uh, uh, I feel like this guy's gonna cost zero real fast. I actually feel like it's the opposite. Am I crazy? Like, I, I feel like it's gonna cost zero very slowly. I don't know. I might be a little nutty. Because, like I said, I think turn six is your best case on, on a perfect opener. You know, and that's you're not going to have perfect openers. You're going to be floating mana. You're going to miss turns like you're going to play a minion. I just don't see it yet. Druid played a zero mana four, four elemental. Yeah, but the only thing they had to do to make it zero mana was play one five mana card. They didn't have to spend a ton of mana throughout the game. So you could make it zero mana on turn five anytime you wanted. This, you have to put in work over time. Right? It's not just instantly zero. So, you know, you gotta you gotta build the deck for it, you gotta build a game plan for it. And my argument is it's less valuable the longer the game stretches on. You know, it becomes, you know, big stat dumps matter less and less the longer the game goes on because your opponent is killing you potentially, right? It might just kill you or they're just finding more and more removal to keep up with your stats better and better. Sometimes you don't need. Like sometimes you need more than stats, right? You need effects or upsides or stickiness or, or those sorts of things. <laughs> yeah, we, we already talked about Celestial. Like I said, I think it makes sense for Celestial some, but also everything is cheap with Celestial. So are you going to end up running this card or just another better card? In other words, would you is spending zero mana on this better than spending one mana on a uh, whatever? This is a terrible example, but like a Moarg that has a death rattle upside and taunt, right? Not that that would be what they'd run, but but you're giving up the opportunity cost of other stats for that one mana discount. Is that swing turn off of Celestial reliably enough going to develop the Naga here that it's worth it? Maybe, maybe, maybe getting that 80 down immediately is important enough, but maybe not. It depends on what other cards you have to accelerate out of the Celestial, right? Can you... Can you pull out a, you know, a ramp, like a Nourish style thing, and then just play better stuff faster? Play an Alex Chaza, play a Moarg, play a whatever, play a Colossal, etc. Will those be just more effective for one mana than this for zero? I think I think that's what you gotta ask. Um also, is Celestial actually gonna be good enough? Is another question I guess we gotta talk about. Since it got nerfed, I feel like I don't see it as much anymore. I mean, maybe Kazakasan came along and kind of replaced it as a as the eight mana thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like it, it, Onyxia, right? Like, would you rather just play Onyxia? It, it, it probably depends. It depends on how fast the meta is and how quickly you can um, push up to manas where, where one isn't prohibitive because obviously you don't have one right away. 
Just depends. But also, I don't know that Celestial's a good enough argument. If Is this card the reason you're running Celestial? Because right now, that wouldn't be a good enough reason to run Celestial. That's not the difference. Like, I don't think this is the difference maker that makes Celestial good suddenly. Right? I don't know. I'm not as convinced. I mean, I always have that sort of uh, hedge every time I review a card. Things that can cost zero can break the game, right? Like, that's always a hedge. It's like anything that's zero is always dangerous. And this is zero. So you have to wonder. In your mind, Arcane Giant was almost always better. Uh, yeah, is it Mana Giant or Arcane Giant? I can't remember which one's which. Oh my god, which one's... Arcane Giant is the Mana one. Mana Giant is the... Not Mana one. Yeah, okay, Arcane Giant is, yeah, each spell. I, I think this is better in Modern Hearthstone, honestly. Because you we tend to cycle a lot of fast small spells in hearthstone these days right a lot of little zero mana one mana stuff two mana stuff i feel like this is going to come down faster you know like if this were the option i think i would currently pick arcane giant over naga now this may not be an option so that's not necessarily irrelevant oh my god why is this doing this this may not be a relevant conversation right like it may not matter but i would probably pick arcane giant yeah I don't know, but Naga Tag could have something. Zero mana is always important. Like, it's not... I'm not saying it's awful. I want to be clear. I, I just don't think it's insane. I think it's... I think it's somewhere in the middle. And priest? Yeah, the zero mana Priest card could be a way to cheese it out a little faster by refreshing a turn and spending, like, ten early in the game, right? Like, really, really pushing some mana on like turn five or something. That's a cool thought. That's another, so like Celestial and Priest are the two angles I see now that make a little sense. I'm not sure either is convincing me necessarily, but they're, they're possible paths. I mean, I, like I said, actually like Bioluminescence Shaman, maybe there's something to be said for having any zero mana minion available and then just saving these up for bioluminescence and then blowing people up, you know? <laughs> mana biscuit helps a little, but I don't, I don't think that's quite enough, maybe. Spring water is a cool thought. Yeah, actually, between mana brisket and brisket. <laughs> Dang, that sounds better. I want a mana brisket, dude. <laughs> Give me a barbecued mana brisket. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, that, that's a cool thought. Refreshing spring water helps you spin mana faster. Brisket helps you spin mana faster. I kind of like that, actually. Yeah. Is Biscuit rotating, really? I thought that was a Baron's card. What is Mana Biscuit? Oh, it's Dark Moon. Oh, my God, you're right. Oh, man. Dark Moon races. No mana biscuit. Spring water's still around, though. Dark Moon races. It seems so recent because Dark Moon races came out like after the new year. Yeah, I think I think there's a couple paths, but I'm not convinced they're going to be super good. Like, I think if it were 15 mana, you'd have a really good card on your hands. Is my guess. I mean, obviously, I don't know. Nobody knows. It's made up. But my guess is if it were 50 mana, you'd have a really good card in your hand. But at, at 20, I'm a little worried. That's basically a one turn difference that might be the, the, the break point, you know, which is why it's probably costing 20. <laughs> that's probably why Blizzard made it cost 20. Um, th that's one of those cards where coming out of Flesh Giant and knowing how problematic that became and knowing how poorly people reacted to it. I feel like Blizzard probably said, like, we need to make sure this isn't too good. And then, you know, they make it an appropriate mana cost where 
it's not going to be too good so that we don't have the same like zero mana giant problem again. That's my guess. Right? So you can almost sort of um, logic it out that like they wouldn't make this be great. So it must not be great. <laughs> you know, of course, you don't always get that right. But there's a, there's some kind of some kind of logical conclusion to take there, I think. Anyway, I'm going to hop off, guys. Uh, that was a really, really fun duels run. Really good duels run. Actually freaking love the duels run. So schedule tomorrow. Maybe I don't know if I'm streaming tomorrow. I got a lot of stuff to get done. I got like sponsor video stuff. I got the duels reveal stuff. I probably won't stream tomorrow. I'll probably take tomorrow off to, to work all day. <laughs> I'll take tomorrow off to work all day. <laughs> um saturday we'll do the duels reveal probably try to stream on saturday card reviews all week of course anytime there's cards there will be card reveals or reviews i got a 12 hour book of mercenaries video coming out i i put all the book of mercenaries videos together for a 12 hour freaking video so keep an eye out for that this weekend and uh yeah we'll just kind of chill playing duels and hanging out until uh stuff comes out i guess so yeah see you guys soon thanks for hanging out thanks for the subs and bits and follows and uh kind words agent what's up what do you want to shill i am aware of your existence and your youtube channel you're welcome to shill things if you'd like fellow duels enjoyer <laughs> I caught you just in time. I'm in no hurry, so shill away. You made your best video yet. Well, feel free to link it in chat. Chat, check out check out agents' video in in the in the chat there. Fellow duels content creator. Um, there it is, right there. Starting us at 12 seconds. Here, I'll give you guys a preview. But go watch it. Go watch it. Dude, I don't even know what this is. What is this? Is this a custom, uh, custom duels? Totally legit. Yeah, custom duels stuff, guys. Go check it out. We like cool duels ideas. That sounds like a. I love your your voice, by the way. It's very relaxing, I find. It's got like an almost ASMR vibe. So anyway, check that out, everybody. Uh, enjoy some custom dual stuff. Uh, love you all, Tom. Thanks for hanging out today. Oh, I got to do a raid. Oh, my God. Shoot. Raid. Raid. Uh, raid. here's a wild raid all right everybody love you all see you soon thanks for hanging out good luck out there in the universe thanks for watching and uh until next time game on